bigong makapasok sa 2024 Paris Olympics si Tokyo Olympic gold medalist at Pinay weightlifter na si Haydelin Diaz. Hindi nakamit ni Diaz ang kailangang puntos sa 59 kilogram weightlifting category sa qualification rounds ng 2024 IWF World Cup. Dagdag naman sa listahan ng pambato ng Pilipinas para sa Paris Olympics ang Pinay weightlifter na si Elrin Ando. Pinataob ni Ando si Diaz sa parehong weight category. Si Ando na ay kasyam na Pilipino na lalaban para sa Paris Olympics. Back-to-back -back champion ang Letran Squire sa NCAA Juniors Basketball Tournament. Tinalo nila ang Perpetual Junior Altas sa Game 3 ng Season 99 Finals nitong Sabado. Sa buong game, nanguna ang Squires at hindi pinahabol ang Altas. Umabot pa sa 16 points ang lamang. Final score, 93-76. Nakuha ni Jonathan Manalili ng Squires ang Finals. Finals Most Valuable Player Award. Nag-average po siya ng 22 points, 5 rebounds at 7.7 assists sa buong series. Another good news mga kapuso, pasok na rin po sa 2024 Paris Olympics ang Pinoy weightlifter na si Jan Februar Seniza. Yan ay matapos siyang magwagi sa qualification tournament na 2024 IWF World Cup sa Thailand. Nakuha ni Seniza ang ikaapat na pwesto sa men's 61 kilogram weightlifting category. Siya ay kawalong dagdag sa pambato ng Pilipinas para sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Una nang nag-qualify sa 49 kilogram weightlifting category si Rosie G. Ramos. Makakasama nila sa Paris Olympics sila E.J. Obiana, Carlos Yulo, Alea Pinegan, Yumir Marshall, Nesty Petesho at Ira Villegas. Good job sa kanyang pagbabalik sa Olympic stage, si Pinay weightlifter Elrin Ando. Matapos po yan ang matagumpay niyang performance sa women's 59kg event ng 2024 IWF World Cup sa Phuket, Thailand. Nakabuhat siya ng total na 228kg at nakakuha pa ng ikapitong pwesto. Naungusa ng 25-year-old Pinay weightlifter ang kapo atleta at Tokyo Olympics gold medalist na si Heidi Lindia sa parehong kategorya. Nakabuhat si Diaz ng total na 222 kilograms. Si Ando ang ikatlong Pinoy weightlifter na nag-qualify sa Paris Olympics. Sa kabuuan, siyam na ang pambato natin sa Olympics na magsisimula sa July. Good job at congratulations sa inyo dyan, Elrin! Tuesday afternoon, that means we're back into live volleyball action here inside the San Andres Sports Complex in Manila, our temporary venue in the NCAA Season 99 Volleyball Tournament. Today we have an offering from you, or for you guys, in the women's volleyball competition. It is going to be two teams with very different outcomes in Season 98. You got the LPU Lady Pirates, fresh of their finals appearance in season 98 going up against a rebuilding 
San Beda Lady Red Spiker. San Beda, though, is retooled and revamped going into season 99. Again, we are inside the San Andreas Sports Complex. Dito po sa lungsod ng Maynila. Maraming salamat sa inyong pagtutok mga kapuso. Live na live online ngayon. We got uh, NCAA Philippines via Facebook and YouTube and on Facebook and X at GMA Sports PH. Hello, hello everybody. Siyempre live na live din tayo ngayon on your television screens via GTV. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Ako po si Martin Aviar at your service, bringing you this matchup of the LPU Lady Pirates and the San Beda Lady Red Spikers. Again, both teams playing their first game here in Season 99, working alongside the one and the only... Okay, Bro. former volleyball player <laughs> na siya. Former yes. volleyball player, now weather presenter in GMA. But syempre, nasa puso pa rin po niya ang volleyball. Tawag sa kanya ngayon. Growing boy, Mr. Anjo Pertiara. Anjo, welcome good to the conference. Good afternoon, brother. It's good to be back. Siyempre, dito sa tabi mo, dito sa panel stable. At sobrang exciting. Mas lalo na itong game na magaganap sa harap natin mismo. That's a very exciting mm -hmm. matchup here. Again, very unpredictable so far. Hindi natin alam kung ano yung mga ginawa na itong San Beda in the offseason or sino yung mga bagong players nila. LPU looking solid as per usual. But completing the broadcast team, we got our courtside reporter, with a big responsibility today of reporting for our both teams, Miss Julia Ong, a veteran on the sidelines. We are expecting, of course, the stories in the off-season. Mula po kay Julia na iyahatid niya sa atin maya -maya. But first, uh, pag-usapan muna natin itong LPU and San Beda. Of course, LPU Lady Pirates surprising everybody by going all the way to the finals last season. Nobody expected them to go to the finals. We thought it was going to be perpetual. Mm -hmm. Just basing it off the elimination round record. Ito namang San Beda, hinahanap pulet yung winning ways nila sa NCAA. That's so true. Mabalik tayo sa Lyceum, no, Martin? Ito yung mga teams na sobrang nakakatakot kalaban. After, you know, season 98, napunta sila sa championship game na hindi nakala nga ng lahat ng karamihan. Tapos biglang babalik sila for a new season. Ito yung mga sobrang gigil pa, on fire at alam mong marami silang binaon. Kasi nga, nandun na sila sa point na konti na lang mapapasa kanila na. That's right. Nakita nyo kanina Coach Cromwell Garcia. Pero bago natin, tignan yung lineup dito ng uh, LPU. Let's go first to our tournament format. It's pretty much the same with the format that we've been using for the past seasons. Anjo? So, pagdating sa elimination round, mga kapuso, alalayan po natin single round. Robbing lang po ang meron tayo. Ibig sabihin, wala na pong chance na makabawi once na matalo ang isang team. After that, top four teams advances to the final four. Pagdating na po sa final four, ang magiging setup natin, one, number one versus number four, and then followed by number two versus number three. Higher seeds earn twi twice to beat advantage. Pagdating na po sa finals, best of three series po tayo. At ito po, ang kadalasang nangyari para sa CSB Blazers. Kapag na-sweep po ang ating elimination round, automatic po ang makakasweep ay mauhupunta sa championship at maghihintay na lang po sila. And then mangyayari po para sa rest of the teams, magiging knockout ladder. L ladder. Yeah. Step, step oh, ladder. Yeah. Step yeah. ladder. Yeah. Okay. Uh, importante po yung huli. Dahil yan po yung nangyayari for the past yes. two seasons. You know, we've had a step ladder semifinals because Benil has just been dominating uh, the competition here in the NCAA. But LPU has something to say here in Season 99. We'll take a look at their um, lineup here. Very big subtractions with Zonzi Daha pretty much the ate, the heart and soul of that team last season, alongside one of their main gunners last year, Jewel Maligmat. But then again, Martin, let's not forget the captain. Siyempre, sinong may hawak ng vapor? Adyan pa rin po si Vinis Puzon, awarded as the best setter last NCAA season 98. Doon pa lang, alam mo ng kumpiyansa pa rin si Coach Cromwell kasi magaling pa rin at nandun pa rin yung pinakailangan niyang piece para sa isang magandang rotation ng isang team. That's right. Dennis Puzon, back-to-back uh, yes. best setter awardee dito po sa mm -hmm. NCAA Season 97, Season 98 and leading LPU to the finals last year. You saw the record earlier, 6-3. and three. They were number three in the eliminations. Beat number two perpetual on their way to the finals. Let's move on to the other side as Andeda, Lady Red Spikers revamped, retooled. They got a new coach to head this team, the veteran coach, and Coach Edgar Baroga. Yes, a very decorated coach, Edgar Baroga. Everyone in the volleyball world knows him. Nakapag-pro na. Lahat na hawakan niya na. So for sure, 
ibang San Beda Lady Red Spikers ang ating makikita for this season. Mas lalo na na medyo hindi maganda ang pinakita nila last season. For sure, gutom at sabik manalo ng mas marami pa sa pinakita nila last season. Ay, sistema ni Coach Edgar Baroga, yung makikita natin mamaya with a lot of new faces on this San Beda team. At least 11 new names mm -hmm. including their reserves. Ang nilain up dito ni Coach Edgar Baroga. A lot of expectations. We know San Beda. This is a very proud institution. They're used to winning, and they wanna go back to their winning ways here in the NCAA women's volleyball scene. Dahil last season yung men's team nila nagfinals. Yes. Oh, oh, against so perpetual. Sure. Marks, may tanong ka pa ba? Wala na, wala na. Okay, Ikaw, na. may tatanong ka ba? Oh, Marks, ulan ka ba? Bakit? Kasi. Sana Mali, hindi kompleto. Hindi <laughs> kompleto. Ay, bro, kasi nadinig ko lang yun nung ah, okay, napanood okay. kita. Okay. Bro. Sige, mamaya, i-kukompletuhin ko. Alright. <laughs> I think we are ready. Let's turn you over to our venue announcer to introduce our players. Magandang hapon, mga kapuso, mula sa San Andres Sports Complex. Ito ang NCAA Season 99, New Heroes of the Game. Live ngayon sa GTV Worldwide sa pamamagitan ng GMA Pinoy TV at GMA News TV International. At may live streaming pa sa GMANetwork.com, NCAA Philippines website, YouTube at Facebook with NCAA updates, highlights and results on GMA Integrated News. Presenting our game officials for this match, first referee, Rene Gonzalez. Second referee, Darius Caganda. This is match number four between the Lyceum of the Philippines University Lady Pirates. Versus San Beda University Lady Red Spikers. Now let us meet the starters of both teams. First off, from the Lyceum of the Philippines University, Lady Pirates. First off, Setter and their team captain at number 10, Vince Puzon. Opposite hitter at number 6, Jaja Tula. Outside hitter at number 12, Joan Duguna. Another outside hitter at number 15, Jonah Dolorito. Middle blocker at number 16, Hiro Osada. Another middle blocker at number 19, Hart Pio. Starting libero at number 5, Jaika Lopez. Head coach of the Lady Pirates, Cromwell Garcia. And now for the starters of San Beda University, Lady Red Spikers. First off, outside hitter number one, Angel Habakoy. Opposite hitter number two, Clay Abraham. Setter at number eight, Kat Molina. Another outside hitter at number 10, Sophie Gagalawan. Middle blocker at number 12, Jade De La Cruz. Another middle blocker at number 16, Erin Navarro. Starting libero at number 11, Mikai Flores. Head coach of the Lady Red Spikers, Edgar Baroga. This is NCAA Season 99. Time to meet the starters for both teams for LPU. Old reliables alongside a couple of new middles for uh, Coach Cromwell Garcia. Ito si Hart Bio. Nasa gitna din ang uh, half Japanese na si Hiromi Osada. On the other side, for the San Beda Lady Red Spikers, New faces on the court, pero ang abangan po natin dyan, Angel Habakon, who alongside Ryan Cañete brought San Beda to the finals of the beach volleyball competition. 
only the from ah uh, one familiar face dito sa San Beda team na nasa court ngayon na hindi bago si Ryan Abraham lang. So shall the rest are new and again this is a new era for the San Beda Lady Red Spikers new faces on the court LPU. Of course, they want to duplicate. And if ever, go all the way for the championship this season. This is, again, a big season for them now that they got the experience already. Okay, good to have you with us. Martin Avier with Andrew Pertiera and Julia Ong at courtside. First serve. Mm, that was out. So, too strong first to the newest setter. Neto San Beto Lady Red Spikers, Kat Molina, who was a hitter last year. Sabi sa akin ni Coach Ed, this is a position that's gonna be tricky for them this year, Anjo. Kasi yung original setter nila dapat na ACL injury. Kaya nagpa-tryout siya kung sino yung pupwede. Si Kat Molina yung nag-emerge. Okay. Pero ito, Martin, let's talk about the previous play by Denise Pozon. Alam mo naman natin na isa sa hardest server na meron dito sa NCAA Season 99 Women's Volleyball at it shows galing isang services para kay Vinis Puzon. Heavy serves by, and sharp serves by Puzon. Oh, this is not gonna be safe. First point for the Lady Red Spikers care of Abraham. Let's check this one out. First two plays, medyo lost ba itong San Beda that time they were able to execute. Oo, oh, kasi hindi lost yung set. Eh. Galing deep pass, pero nagawa ng adjustment ni Abraham. That's a good sign for Coach Baroga. This is Kagalawan to serve. Uh, over received and Regalo. put down by Angel Habakon, who scores her first point in the NCAA. Alam mo, Martin, yung first point mo, mas nalang sa NCAA, iba yung pakiramdam. Tapos lang, galing pang regalo. Uh, correct. Confidence booster yan. Nakita na ngayon, no? Sabi niya, alam ko na gagawin ko dyan. That's first of many points in the future for Angel Habakon. Meantime, we head to another rally of speed attack. That is going to be saved by Jaika Lopez. Although this is going to be a free ball. Flores Molina backs it. Abraham scores. Wow. So better. Red Lady Spikers. Iba yung... Iba yung dating nila ngayon eh. Hindi ko, may, may kakaiba eh. At ang ganda ng rotation ng bola nila. Kung kanina, lahat ng bola, lahat ng set na punta sa open sa... Ngayon naman, pinunta nila sa utility, which is si Abraham pa rin. Hmm. Bago tayo magsimula kanina, nakita natin yung energy ng San mm -hmm. You know, they were cheering. Alam mo, may cohesion. Yes. At maganda yung pagsasama or samahan na itong uh, team na to. But they commit the error right there. So LPU gets a breather. It's an error, pero para sa atin, syempre, para sa mata natin, mm -hmm. it's a good sign kasi pinapaikot ni Molina nung, yung bola ng maigi. Yeah. Hindi lahat kay Abraham. So it's a threat for the blockers ng Lyceum na ang daming babantayan. Despite being new, quote-unquote, in the position of setter, she's showing, or showing rather, potential here. Sobra. Yung serve dito ni Jonah Dolorito. So 4-3 early lead for San Beda. Again, they're showing early on that this is going to be a different year for the Lady Red Spikers. Tignan natin yung resiliency ng Lyceum. Siyempre, hindi pa patalo yung finalist. At marami rin experience in the off-season. Mm -hmm. Ito ng LPU. Ah, Joan Doguna with some emphasis on that attack. Speaking of resiliency, Doguna, pinakita na ang puso ng isang finalist. Siyempre, hindi tayo pa patalo. At si Doguna, ang pinakamaasang scorer na itong LPU in Season 98 scoring. 127 points in total, but this is gonna hurt LPU. Si Osada, who is one of the fresh faces mula dito sa LPU, committing the service error. Mm, medyo momentum killer yun. Galing sa isang maganda pagkakapatay galing sa palo. Nito go na kanina. Abraham with the jump serve. Lefty jump serve right there. Here's the setup for Doguna. Lumusot, but ball is still up. Habakon on the approach, too near the net. Yeah, that wasn't the ideal distance for Habakon. Oh, hirap na siyang mag-adjust din. Masyado ng defeat sa net and the ball was too high. And that's gonna be, you know, 
growing pains for, for San Beda and Kat Molina personally. Kasi bago siya. So, syempre, first game jitters. Oo, oh, first game jitters. Syempre, maa-adjust ka sa game speed mm -hmm. ng NCAA. So, we'll see how quickly she adapts. Here's the setup. Popped up by Tulang. Daguna. Returned. Pali kay Daguna. Oh, may nakabang sa likod. Good net and floor defense para sa Beda. Off speed attack, saved by Jaja. Here's the quick. Not gonna work, but ultimately, LPU gets the point. Miscommunication on the side of the Sun Beda Lady Red Spikers, but very smart play. Uh, pinakabagong middle blocker ni Coach Cromwell. Hart Bio. Yes. Yan ang kulang sa kanila last year. Height. Yes. Diba? Yes. Si Bio, and uh, 5'11. Mm -hmm. So may counting height this year. I don't see Coach Cromwell. Toguna puts it down. What a transition play para sa Lyceum Lady Birds. Grabe yung ang bilis ni Toguna to, no? Nasa open siya, mga kapuso, sa mga nanonood. Galing po siya ng open. Yung set siya kanyang sipan. Sobrang bilis yung transition play na yun. Grabe din yung tiwala ni Venice Puzon para ibigay pa kay Toguna yung bola ngayon. Kaya hindi nakaset up yung blockers oh. daw. Eh. Ang Sandeda. Molina. Pushing it to the other side. Easy up. Joanne again. They've been feeding her. Molina. Abakon. Oh. Nakabantayan ito lang. Toguna on the approach. Flores, Molina, they go back to Habakon, who scores on the tip. Very smart play. Kung kanina nyo pa ako nadedepensaan sa likod, lahat ng palo ko nadedepensaan nyo, eto. Lalagay ko lang sa likod ng blockers. Easy play. Angel Habakon. Angel Habakon might be a rookie. Pero pekarano po ang galawan nito ni Habakon. You see the smarts there on that attack. Not all power, matalino sa mga atake. Oof! Oh, it's gonna be, yeah, net touch. So LPU gets the point. We arrive at our first technical timeout. On the other side of the break, we have Julia Ong with her report. For the Lady Pirates, six for the Lady Red Spikers. Bigong makapasok sa 2024 Paris Olympics si Tokyo Olympic gold medalist at Pinay weightlifter na si Haydelin Diaz. Hindi nakamit ni Diaz ang kailangang puntos sa 59 kilogram weightlifting category sa qualification rounds ng 2024 IWF World Cup. Dagdag naman sa listahan ng pambato ng Pilipinas para sa Paris Olympics ang Pinay weightlifter na si Elrin Ando. Pinataob ni Ando si Diaz sa parehong weight category. Si Ando na ay kasyam na Pilipino na lalaban para sa Paris Olympics. So, nakatutok pa rin kayo dito sa NCAA Season 99 Women's Volleyball Tournament. Kung panibagong sistema ang dala ni Coach Edgar Baroga sa San Beda Lady Red Spikers. Pagbabago naman daw ang para kay Coach Tomel Garcia ng LPU Lady Pirates. A total change in the habits and attitude. Kumbaga this time, a standard is set for the San Beda Lady Red Spikers. Sa kabila naman, little adjustments are made dahil paniguradong tututukan sila, lalo't finalist sila last season. Coach Romel wants the Lady Pirates to be unpredictable this time. Pareho ang kupunan natin na halos rookies at from residency ang lineup. Kaya both teams will have to show us kung sapat ba ang naging preparasyon nila para makita na buo na sila this time. For the meantime, abangan natin kung ano ang dala ng pagbabago sa dalawang kupunan. Martin and Anjo, balik sa inyo. Maraming salamat, Julia. Nabangan ko yung pick-up line ni Julia sa dulo eh. Ako rin. Ibinitawan eh. Okay. But, but, you know, that's a great um, overview as we take a look at this off-speed attack. Patented off-speed attack ni ni Jonah Dolorito. LPU, you know, sabi ni Julia, Coach Cromwell wants them to be unpredictable this season. Ito na, Martin, speaking of being unpredictable, Doguna gumagana sa harap, pumapatay sa harap, pumapatay sa service line. Two service aces for Doguna. Yeah. Kaya napatay mo, si Coach Edgar.
few instructions right there para dito kay uh, Flores. Doon siya nakatingin sa kanilang mm -hmm. libero na si Rookie Libero na si Milka Flores. And for, if you're you know, a player this young, medyo talagang i-absorb mo yan kasi for a coach like Coach Edgar, direct his instructions to you. Pero hindi siya kapag-adjust doon. Last the guna. Scores your first ace. Oh, oh Jaira Baroga. Hello, Jaira. Oh, di ba? Analyst lang natin yan nung mm -hmm. opening day. Right beside her, okay, nahani siya tayo doon. Right beside her is Rayan Cagnete, former San Sebastian ace. Mm -hmm. One-two punch sila noon ni Kat Santos. Nag-residency last year for San Beda. But, sustained a hand injury. It was a fracture on her right hand in a tune-up game just a few weeks ago, I think. Kaya hindi na siya makakapaglaro this season. So bad. That's so sad to hear. Mas lalo yung mga ganyan injuries. Tapos aarit ka. Sayang yung internet, pinagod mo. Pero ito na nga, no, lucky break. Para sa Beda, Lady Red Spikers, nagka-error galing sa atake itong Lyceum. Hindi nila ma-figure out kung paano re-receiveen yung service kanina ni Duguna. Uh -huh. Nakabawi na sila. Dolorito. Let's check by the blockers. Back row attack. Oh, single coverage by Navarro. Molina with the hit. Back to Dolorito. Bumalik. Mm -hmm. Four touches, not over. Para kay Dolorito. So that one was too low for Jonah. Kita natin. Molina earlier taking a hit. So that's a variety she gives on the court. And she was the one who was able to anticipate this attack from Jonah. Pero medyo lumobo na yung kalaman. Anong may say yung dito, Martin? Ang LPU. Kanina, side out, side out lang tayo. But now, inside. Service takes. That's Jade De La Cruz unleashing an ace. De La Cruz is a middle blocker. You see the front line of San Beda here. You can tell they, they have height. They have height. Right? Martin Masalo, two middle blockers. Nila. Yeah. De La Cruz again. Sharp serve. Mm -hmm. Absorbed by Lopez. Here's Dolorito. Hindi makakadawe. It is denied by the blockers of San Beda. We were just talking about it, Martin. Height matters po. Masalo na po sa larong volleyball. Kitang kita naman natin no? kung gaano nahihirapan itong open spikers ng Lyceum. Tapos na kali, ang hirap padaanin ng bola. Mas lalo, ang bigat pa ng service. Ang hirap magkaroon ng magandang reception. It was the setter Molina who got the block. Another nice serve. Jonah on the approach, popped up by De La Cruz. Molina goes to the other side. Puzon choosing Toguna this time from the back. Pero buhay pa. Abacon gives up the free ball. Back-to-back -back digs. Gahalin kay De La Cruz. A middle blocker. Boom. Oh, Jonah Dolorito. Sinusubukan niya eh. Kanina, hindi lumulusot. Hindi nakakapatay. This time, she went cross-court. Yes, yun nga yung napansin ko rin, Martin. Kanina, pinipilit niya yung down-the-line attacks niya. But this time, ito na. Yung power sa kanina. Pagiging right-handed niya. Uh -huh. Go for cross-court. And that worked. Kalibre ni Jonah Dolorito. And meantime, here's an ace from Hart Bio. Nakikita natin no, yung middle blockers ng both teams. Hmm. Hindi man gumagana sa harap sa atake, but bumabawi sila pagdating sa likod. Yeah. Maging sa service line, kita natin kanina sa si De La Cruz, bumabawi sa defense sa likod. Ang hira po yun sa mga middle blockers. That's right. Solid din, oh. Yan. Hmm. But that's a better reception from Habakon. Here's the attack. Not gonna work. Molina sends it to the other side. Perfectly placed by Kat Molina. Martin, bago pa talaga, bago pa talaga to si Molina. Oh nga eh. Ang gulang maglaro. <laughs> bago sa position niya. Oh, oh ang, uh, ang gulang maglaro. Yeah. Hindi na. No, no. no. How about that? Taking a risk. At if you're Coach Edgar, you want a setter who takes risks. Yes, for sure. It's the setup. Dolorito! Wow! Oh. What an attack galing kay Dolorito. Andun yung blockers. Pero medyo nagsag sa right side eh. Yung, ito yung, ito, ito, ito yung nag-block. Ah, ayun, nag, medyo nagsag and late din yung middle blocker. Kaya naman ang laki ng space para kay Dolorito na hindi mo pwede bigay sa kanya. Kasi alam natin na power hitter si Dolorito. That's right. At least i-check mo. Mm. Kailangan makaset up ka dun. Oh. Tulang is rejected. Navarro with a good block. Ang ganda ng habol niya doon. Na-late siya ng onte, mm. pero ang, ang bilis ng sidestep niya pakaliwa. Na-habol niya agad. 
That's so, a good sign, no? Para sa yeah. mga middle blockers. Nakakarami ng kill block itong San Beda. Mm -hmm. I think this is something Coach Edgar reinforced dito sa mga training nila. Tolorito from the other side. It's a point for LPU. Mm, it went out, eh. Ganda sana nung block. Now we have reached our second technical timeout. The Lady Pirates are ahead by four. Another good news mga kapuso, pasok na rin po sa 2024 Paris Olympics ang Pinoy weightlifter na si Jan Februar Siniza. Yan ay matapos siyang magwagi sa qualification tournament na 2024 IWF World Cup sa Thailand. Nakuha ni Siniza ang ikaapat na pwesto sa men's 61kg weightlifting category. Siya ay kawalong dagdag sa pambato ng Pilipinas para sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Una nang nag-qualify sa 49kg weightlifting category si Rosie G. Ramos. Mga kasama nila sa Paris Olympics sila EJ Obiana, Carlos Yulo, Alea Finegan, Yumir Marshall, Nesty Petesho at Ira Villegas. Good job sa kanyang pagbabalik sa Olympic stage si Pinay weightlifter Elvin Ando. Matapos po yan ang matagumpay niyang performance sa women's 59kg event ng 2024 IWF. Sa ating laban, and you see our fans here in attendance at San Andres Sports uh, Complex. So be here back-to-back -back days, also tomorrow with our set of games. Meantime, we go back to live action. Abraham, LPU leading it by four. Habakon. Net touch violation, Nangigil. So, freebie para dito sa San Beda. Ito yung mga kailangan i-capitalize ng San Beda, yung mga gantong momentum. Especially for young teams who are facing veteran teams like mm -hmm. LPU. Kunin mo na lahat ng chances mo. Yes. Alright. Magandang serve lang, tas tibay sa block para makahapon. Oo, uh, masyado malakas yung reception. Pero, nagawa ng paraan. Abraham will try here. Rejected. Molina goes to Habakon. It bounced off the net. And out. San Beda looking for the check ball. None given. Kala nila tumama mm -hmm. sa ano? Blockers. Ano, pero Coach Edgar still are giving the ball to the referee. Hindi pinagbigyan. Oh, this is Hiromi Osada. Transition to middle blocker for LPU. Habakon uh, puts it through. Ang bilis ng bawin niya. Bawin, nakita mo yung vertical lead niya. Wala na halos bueno, vertical lang eh. Yeah. Such a high leaper. And expect more plays for Angel Habakon. Ito si Abraham. Ooh, serve is ace, unleashed. Good serve, good serve. Nakita ko kanina, hina, hininaan niya eh. In off speed niya, to target that short zone over there. At nahihirapan mag-receive kasi nga masyadong nakasag sa likod. Uh -huh. Itong mga mag-receivers ng Lyceum. Medyo na-deceive sila. Kasi ala nila jump yes, serve. Uh -oh. Usually, pag jump serve long ang mahaba. Ang mahaba. Ang trajection yan eh. Ito. Ito nilakasan ni Abraham. Toguna. Oh, Joan Toguna. Another great kill galing kay Daguna pero credits kay Vinis Puzo. Nakita mo ba kung paano niya dinelay yung set niya? Hinihintay niyang tumalon yung middle blocker ng San Beda para isa na lang yung blocker ng Daguna at mas madaling makapuntos para sa kanya. At ang ganda rin ang ikot neto ni Vinis Puzo. That's back-to-back -back best setters dito sa NCAA. Mas kanina, Daguna was scoring in bunches. Tapos, tolorito muna ang inactivate niya. Pinalikan niya kanina si Daguna. Yun yung maganda. Dami yung choices. Dami yung choices. Espina, secondary setter is on the court for San Beda. Oh, the scramble results to a free ball. What will San Beda do? They choose Habako, who goes low on the attack. Nang gigil lang siya doon. Masyado niyang binaon eh. Ang ganda sana ng set play doon. Let's check this one out. Ganda ng set up. Binaon lang, sayang. Naabangan itong si Odang Higin, si Angel Habakon. So the lead is back to four. And an ace from Jaja Tulang. Make it five. 20 to 15. And LPU's experience showing here in set number one. Tulang even targeting Habakon that time. 
scores the ace. Another time I called by coach Ed Baroga. <laughs> Ilang beses kayong binigyan yan. Anticipate nyo, lalo na pagka ganun lang kahina ang receive, kamayin nyo na. Ha? Makit kayo rito, mag-over kayo rito para pagka mataas, kamayin nyo na. Ha? Hindi yan. Sige, sige, sige. Iwasan nyo magkaroon tayong problema sa kanya. Okay, Coach Ed. Ni-instruct itong mga players niya na Siguraduhin nyo na, especially with sa reception eh, yung mga mm. malakas, mahinang receive na gano'n. Alright, Sir Herc of LPU, watching yeah, alongside Sir Frank Gusi. Mm -hmm. Yes, Anjo. Good afternoon, sirs. Pero yun nga, sabi nga ni Coach Ed kanina, no? kama yung collected siya, alam niya at kumpiyansa pa rin siya sa players niya. Uh -huh. Nung makakareceive sila ng maayos kasi kanina pa nga nila pinoproblema. Ito na nga, kinamay na, natasa man ng maayos. Oh, the tip on the other side. Maraming bago mukha para sa San Beto dito. They go to Angel. Of speed! Perfectly placed! What an angle! Grabe, sobrang nimis doon, Martin. Binali yung balikat papuntang kanan para madali yung bola doon. For you to have that great vision. Yeah. Amazing confidence. The, yeah, the dexterity yes. as well oh. nito ni Habakon. How about the jump serve? Picked up though by Lopez. Tabuna. Saved. Dalawan that time. Not gonna work. They go back to Juan. Ah, cross court kill for John Taguna. Yun na. Ano ba naman yung 140 plus points last season? More to out para kay Taguna for sure. Pero yung makita na natin lo. Once again, medyo na late yung blockers ng San Beda Lady Reds. Kasi nga hinihintay ni Puzo. Meron siyang slight delay bago niya ibato pa open yung bola. Yeah. And that's something they worked on in the off-season. Oh, service ace! For Joan Doguna. I think that's her fourth ace. Yes, that's her, that's her fourth already yeah. for this game. Four service aces for Joan Doguna. Six total para sa Lyceum. Apat doon sa kanya galing, Martin. Galing. Grabe. Marami pa siyang attack points din. Oh! oh! Another one for Doguna. Make it five services for Doguna and eight total for the Lyceum. Grabe. That is sorry. Oh, target practice for Joe and Doguna here. San Beda unable to handle the heat on the serve. Another heavy serve. Espina. Bakar. Easily picked up, and the middle is activated by Puzon. That's Bio with the point. Bio playing smart. Alam niyang late na yung blocker. Kahit itik ko na lang automatic score. Kasi ito, nalilito na. Ito uh -huh. Medyo nararatal na yung blockers ng San Beda Lady Red Spiders. Ooh, ooh. A, mm -hmm. a breather. Uh, Daguna shows us that she's human from yes. the service line. Finally. Okay. <laughs> so, set point kanina ang LPU. San Beda is able to save on their courtesy of the, the service error. So here's Jay De La Cruz. Again, it is Bio. Activated by Puzon, and that's how we will end the opening set. Check this one out again. Bio, the queen of tips. Iba yung connection, ano? Pwede na. Bio, hulugulog lang. Hulugulog lang. Soft touch, soft touch lang. Para dito kay Hart Bio. And an emphatic set number one win for the LPU Lady Pirates to start off their season 99. We'll be back for set two. Good job sa kanyang pagbabalik sa Olympic stage, si Pinay weightlifter Elvin Ando. Matapos po yan ang matagumpay niyang performance sa women's 59kg event ng 2024 IWF World Cup sa Phuket, Thailand. Nakabuhat siya ng total na 228kg at nakakuha pa ng ikapitong pwesto. Naungusa ng 25-year-old Pinay weightlifter ang kapwa-atleta at Tokyo Olympics gold medalist na si Heidi Lynn Diaz sa parehong kategorya. Nakabuhat si Diaz ng total na 222 kilograms. 
si Ando ang ikatlong Pinoy weightlifter na nag-qualify sa Paris Olympics. Sa kabuuan, siyam na ang pambato natin sa Olympics na magsisimula sa July. Good job at congratulations sa inyo dyan, Elrin! Good job ang isang Pinay weightlifter na nag-qualify sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Sa ating laban inside the San Andres Sports Complex in Manila. Our offering for today, LPU versus San Beda. You saw the set number one score. LPU winning that one, 25 to 17. Martin Javier with Anjo Pertiara here in the coverage. Anjo, set number one tayo. We started off in a seesaw battle, di ba? Or with a seesaw battle, dalawang teams natin nagsasabayan lang. Right down the middle, it was LPU who started to pull away. Tama ka doon, Martin. I was about to say that pagdating actually ng 15-point marker, mm. nagbago yung ihip sa side ng San Beda Lady Red Spikers. Sobrang nahirapan na silang magkaroon ng magandang reception. Sobrang obvious dahil ang Lyceum po ay nagkaroon ng eight service aces yeah. sa loob ng isang set. That's right. Tapos kung ikaw yung coach, kung ikaw si Ed Baroga, Masakit para sa iyo kasi araw-araw nyo pinapractice ang reception. Ayan ang pinakunang pinapractice ng lahat ng teams. Kasi nga walang mangyayari, walang magandang set rin ang mangyayari, walang set na magandang mangyayari kung wala tayong magandang reception. That's right. Joe and Duguna had a lot of aces mm -hmm. in uh, set number one. Total of eight points for her. I think five? Five service aces. Service aces? Yes. Tanggaling kay Joe and Duguna. Mas marami pa yung aces niya. Kesa sa point niya sa harap. Sa harap, correct. Oh, oh. Bihira po mangyayari yan. And we're just at set number one. So take a look at the set one uh, numbers here. Seven aces for San Beda. Or, or yes, yeah, for LPU rather. And unforced errors though, dun lang medyo bumaba itong LPU. But everything else they were able to address. At yun lang kailangan capitalize na ng San Beda. So marami binibigay na errors itong Lyceum. Kailangan nilang gumawa ng momentum galing doon. Right. So we'll see what will happen here in set number two. The Lady Pirates again showing us why they made it to the finals a season ago. Etong San Beda, they showed promise early on. Pero youth yung nakita din natin. Bandang gitna doon, Anjo. Venice Puzon serving. We know it's going to be a sharp one from Venice. Here's Habakon. Oh, Habakon. Lumusot yung atake niya. Oo, oh, lumusot sa gitna ng dalawang dead defense. At hindi nakapag-usap, hindi nakapagsabi ng mind. Ayun, nawala tuloy sa kanila. Kaya paalala po, magsabi ng mind yeah. para hindi mawala sa inyo yung bola. Ganun, Anjo. Ganun, yeah. sabi ng mind. Yes. Oh, sige. Ikaw, Anjo, sino yung... Hindi, sige. Ale. Hindi na, hindi kita ilang. <laughs> Tatanong ko, sino yung imamind mo? Wala, yung bola, pag naglalaro ka. Oh! Okay. Quick attack! Osada! Oh, Hiromi Osada. Wow! One of the newcomers, Neto ni Coach Cromwell Garcia, getting activated by Venice Puzon. Ang ganda kasi nung reception eh. Ang ganda rin nung anticipation ng middle blocker. Alam, ito yung problema minsan ng ibang middle blockers. Nagsasawa na mag-approach once na hindi sila nabibigyan. Uh -huh. yeah. Pero on the other side, iba. Ang ganda nung approach ni Osada doon. Aktibo. Kaya aktibo oh. yung middle blockers itong LPU. Yes. Osada, by the way, I... I call her an undersized middle blocker. Kapareho ni Zonzi Dahab yes. in the previous season. Only five foot six, but very capable and very active. Yun yung pinakamalaga sa middle blockers. Active ka all throughout the game. Yeah. Meantime, another newcomer in Bakar serving a point for San Beda. Good sign para San Beda. Early two-point lead. Third ace in the match for the Lady Red Spikers, Joan Duguna. Kinargahan niya yun. Here's the set up for Habakon. Oh, oh. big night by Jaja Tulang. Grabe yung block ni Jaja Tulang. Sige, sabihin natin, high yung set. Medyo madali basahin, pero para magkaroon ka ng ganun kataas na block reach. Wow. Pinagpag ba niya? Kapunta sa kaliwa. Yeah. Yes. Way out. Single coverage by Tulang. Oof. Second service error para sa LPU sa set number two. We talked about this earlier. Ito yung mga kailangan i-capitalize ng San Beda Lady Red Spikers. Yung mga gantong errors. Kailangan hindi maging error itong yeah. possession na to para sa kanila. And if you're LPU, diba, you, can't afford, uh, you can't afford rather to give confidence to this yes. young San Beda team via those errors. Kasi ito, makakasetup sila. Castillo 
challenging Tulang and finding success. Not this time, ipinawi agad ni Castillo. Pero ang ganda ng option niya, alam niya mataas ang block reach ni Tulang. Yeah. She went for that check ball. Good job. One of the very few holdovers na itong San Beda from season 98, China Castillo. Oh! Puzon. Taguna! Martin, nakita mo ba kung gano'ng kababa at kung gano'ng kabalis sineset ni Venice Puzon yung mga break ball na dapat mataas yung set? Uh -huh. Ayun yung sobrang kakaiba para sa Lyceum ngayon. Ang bibilis ng set nila. Kaya may hirap yung mag-block eh. Itong San Beda, ang bibilis ng set. Kahit break ball na automatic dapat mataas. That's yun yung sinabi sa akin ni Coach Cromwell kanina. As Castillo, tips it in, buhay pa. Pero hindi na inabutan. Good retaliation for San Beda. Tinanong ko si Coach Cromwell kanina before we you know, even started the match. Sabi ko, Coach, ano yung natutunan niyo sa finals na kailangan hmm. niyong uh, gawin para marating niyo yung championship form? Sabi niya, yung mga set namin, kailangan na pagtuunan ng pansin. Yung mga, yun yung inadjustan at tinrain din ito ni Venice Puzon to make them more unpredictable as a team. Yung mga low-fast set na ganyan. Yes, kasi nga Martin, kapag matatangkad ng kalaban mo, namely, the CSB Blazers. That's right. Ang tataas yan. So kapag mataas at mabagal ang mga kalaban, kailangan pong mag-setup yan para sa block. Eh, kailangan Correct. mabilis yung sets mo. Yan. Kasi pag mataas, tapos matangkad kalaban mo, nakaka-setup na yan. Oo, oh, eh. automatic tatalo na lang yan. yan. So, 7-4. to four, It's a different complexion. Dito sa set number 2, the youngsters of San Beda taking Duman. over. Dumadami na rin unforced errors na itong Lyceum. Mm -hmm. Kung kanina, ang ganda ng, ng service line nila. As in, almost perfect. Nagka-service aces pa sila. But now, nag-iba ng ihip. Ah, Dolorito is checked. Para kay Jonah dito. It is popped up. But too strong. Yung dig na yun, the etcho sa net. That was Flores of this Dolorito attack. So Heart B of five points, a lot of quick attacks, quick tips in set number one. Castillo, wow, what a spark off the bench for Coach Edgar. China Castillo able to connect. All right, first technical timeout, it's San Beda. Wow. Arriving first. Mm -hmm. okay, on the other side, we'll have Julia Ong. Good job ang isang Pinay weightlifter na nag-qualify sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Si Rosie Ramos na ang ikapitong pambato ng Pilipinas sa Paris. Nakuha niyang slot matapos manalo sa women's 49kg category sa Olympic qualifying tournament ng International Weightlifting Federation sa Phuket, Thailand. Tubong Sambuanga City, ang 20-year-old weightlifter na pinsan ng Olympic gold medalist na si Heidi Lynn Diaz. Makakasama niyang lalaban para sa Pilipinas sa Paris Olympics sina E.J. Obiena, Carlos Yulo, Alea Finnegan, Yumir Marshall, Nesty Petesho at Ira Villegas. Bagong double... Nakatutok pa rin kayo dito sa NCAA Season 99 Women's Volleyball Tournament. Pag-usapan naman natin itong si Angel Habakon ng San Beda Lady Red Spikers. Alam nyo ba na almost nag-quit na daw siya sa paglaro ng volleyball dahil para sa kanya, exhausted na daw siya sa mga pangyayari na nangyayari sa paligid niya. Kaya naman ngayon, a very good decision of her to stay dahil isa siya sa inaasahan ng kanyang kopunan. Nagtataka rin ba kayo kung bakit ang taas ng energy ni Kat Molina? Alam nyo, tinanong ko siya kung gano'n siya ka-confident ngayon. Sinabi niya na 100,000 million percent out of 10. Grabe, di ba? Sa side naman ng Lady Pirates, buo ang tiwala. Itutuloy-tuloy lang ang ipinapakasin kita habang tumataas ang set tumataas din dapat ang energy ayan ang paalala ni coach Cromwell sa kanila all for now Martin and Anjo maraming salamat Julia dami naman nun no? oo oh, pero alam mo ba sa totoong buhay paano sinabi ni Habakon ah, yeah, yeah. wag mong bibitawan yung isang bagay na gustong gusto mo ah. diba kasi magbubungat magbubungat pero yes, sabi ko ang dami ng confidence ni Kako oh, 100,000 100,000 over 10 okay <laughs> ito yung sinasabi nating Kumbianza, one of the rookies, Bakar, able to connect here. Sinabi rin sa akin ni Coach Ed yun kanina, before we started. Si Angel, tama. Ba dapat babalik na daw siya sa, nag-enroll na yata, mag-enroll na dapat sa Davao. Mm -hmm. 
Tapos doon na siya. Kasi siyempre, sabi ni Julia, hindi na niya gusto yung mga scenery. Yung mga nangyayari sa kanya sa Manila. But again, pinilit siya. Pagdating ni Coach Ed, pinilit siya na mag-stay. And again, good decision for her. As another rookie here. Yeah. Is it Bachar or Bachar? Okay, we'll, we'll have to verify here. But she is dealing damage yeah, huh? here in the second set. A tall lefty, tas nasa utility position pa. Ang hirap oh. plakin ng mga ganyan. Ang sakit sa ulo. Itong uh, reinforcements ni Coach Ed responding on the court. Combination. Oh, wow. That's the first combination play para sa San Bede Lourdes Falcons. That's right. Set up. Oh. That is tipped back to San Bede's side. Bakon will try and she will score. Bakon, ito na ang resulta ng hindi mo pagsuko. Ang gandang adjustment, ang gandang floor defense ang pinakita ng San Bedal Radio Red Spikers. At nagbunga. So, kanina nakita natin sa nag-try na rin sila magkaroon ng set play. Yeah. Sa gitna. Na first time natin nakita dito sa game na to. We are seeing variations on offense for San Beda and they leave Bakon all alone. Ooh! Fato mataas. Mm -hmm. Jaja. Uh, easily tip back. Yeah. Four I touches, not over. Medyo nalunod siya. Hindi eh. na siya nakatrust for that adjustment. Eh. First regular timeout called by Coach Cromwell. Okay. Kalma muna tayo. Tayo yung nag-execute ng play. Eh. Okay. Tayo yung nag-ra-rattle. Yun din na-depensa natin para hindi tayo sigurado sa pinupwestuhan natin. Balik muna tayo sa pattern natin. Okay, balik muna tayo sa pattern na atake natin. Walang gigil. So, Martin, sabi kanina ni Coach Cromwell, no, pabagaling natin kasi medyo bumibilis na nga. Uh, that's right. Former San Beda player and team captain, si Lapid na on the sidelines. Of course, not anymore with the team. Alongside, ang katabi niya, itong si Hermione Ani. Yan. So, former San Beda players, not sure if they're still in the lineup or in the reserve or in the team B. Pero si Lapid, gurmaduate na yan. Ang gandang bawe, galing kay Jaja Tulang. Galing sa timeout ni Coach Cromwell na sabi, balik natin yung sistema natin, bagalan natin yung sets. Yeah. Punto sa agad para kay Jaja Tulang. Towering over that one blocker galing sa San Beda Lady Red Spikers. So, Jonah Dolorito will serve this one. That was much needed by LPU kasi nakakailan na yes. yung San Beda. Molina, back set. Gonna work, Puzon. To Toguna! Down the line. Wow. Oh, naabang si Castillo. Chance ball. Puzon. Quick! Naabangan din si Osada. Wow! Ito na, Martin. Ito yung sinasabi natin kanina. Medyo nakukuha na. At nakukuha na na itong San Beda Lady Red Spikers yung groove na kailangan nila. Na hinahanap nila. Tingnan natin. Nabaliktad yung laro. Mm. At mukha sila pa ang makakapunta sa 15. And the blocking of San Beda. Continuing to serve problems for LPU. Ito na naman, 14 to 7. The Lady Red Spikers doubling up on the Lady Pirates. Sobrang laking hindrance ng towering blockers itong San Pedro Lady Red Spikers para sa Open Spikers. Yeah. Itong Lyceo, hihirapan na sila kung kanina gumagana pa yung fast and low sets ngayon. Kataiming yan na. Yeah. Laguna. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be an error for LPU. Things are just falling apart for the Lady Pirates here in the second set. So they need... Mayroon pa na rin sa adjustment. Dulong-dulo na. Halos nasa labas na ng antena. Pinakaunang adversity ng LPU this season. Here in the second set of their first game. Down by eight. Tulang. Popped up. Habakon! Who's on with the easy up here to set up? They go to Jonah. Oh! Denied! Another block for San Beda. Ito na ako kanina, dominant itong Lyceum sa service line. Nagpakita naman ng Beda ng dominance nila sa net defense nila. Kitang-kita natin. Kanina pa nahihirapan yeah. itong spikers ng Lyceum. Let's go to this technical timeout.
Another good news mga kapuso, pasok na rin po sa 2024 Paris Olympics ang Pinoy weightlifter na si Jan Februar Seniza. Yan ay matapos siyang magwagi sa qualification tournament na 2024 IWF World Cup sa Thailand. Nakuha ni Seniza ang ikaapat na pwesto sa men's 61kg weightlifting category. Siya ay kawalong dagdag sa pambato ng Pilipinas para sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Una nang nag-qualify sa 49kg weightlifting category si Rosie G. Ramos. Makakasama nila sa Paris Olympics sila EJ Obiana, Carlos Yulo, Alea Finnegan, Yumir Marshall, Nesty Petesho at Ira Villegas. 16 to 7 lead for San Beda. And again, the reserves responding well for Coach Edgar Baroga. But Paul is still up. Habakon. Lopez to Puzon. They go to Tulang. That's too strong. Yeah, that's outside. Marty. Hindi ko alam, pero parang ibang San Beda yung nakita ko ngayon. Correct. Galing yeah. sa first set. At iba rin yung lace na nakita ko ngayon. Comparison sa first set. First set. And it nabaliktad. was... Sobrang nabaliktad. Correct. Si... Pachar. Yan po yung... Uh, one of the... Spikes off the bench. Netong San Beda. That was a incredible San quick. Beda, Lady Red Spiker, sobrang naibabalik ng oh, San Beda. Oo, iba no? yung emphasis nila ngayon sa defense nila. Mapanet defense, mapa floor defense. Lahat na check nila na binabato na sets ito ni Venice Puzon. Nahihirapan si Venice Puzon kung kanino niya ibibigay ngayon. Kasi kung hindi block rebound, galaw San Beda. Tapos magiging transition play para San Beda. Nagiging kill block para sa kanila. That's right. Stacy Lopez replacing Joan Doguna. Bachar. Puzon. Tulang. They couldn't stop the bleeding. Ooh, the lead has ballooned to 11. Pero bumalik pa rin ang bola. It's another kill block for San Beda. How about this? I call this an incidental kill block. Yes, it is, Martin. Diba? Ooh, you know, tumama. Tapos walang nag-recover ng yung bola. And she's been playing well. Itong si Arizapa. Yes, she had two kill blocks earlier, Martin. That's right. Nung nasa harap siya. Check naman yung inactivate. Oh, they're looking for a check. They're not That's gonna right, get the yeah. check. That set was too low. Yeah. At Molina. Having a conversation here with our first referee, Rene Gonzalez. Pero LPU. Ang makakakuha nito. Osada. They go to Bakko. Oh, no scores. Ito na, Martin. Kanina, sinasabi ni Coach Ed Baroga na ang problema nila reception. Kitang-kita natin ang pinagkaiba kapag nagkakaroon ng magandang reception itong San Beda Lady yeah. Red Spikers. Mas nakakapag-discarte ng maayos. At nagkakaroon sila ng kumpiyansa all throughout the game. At dahil iba-iba inactivate ni Molina, mm. naiwanan sa isang blocker itong si Habakon. Oof. Puzon. It's not gonna work. Another block rebound para sa Betty Lady Red Spikers. Back row attack is wide for Dolorito. Oh no, it's a point for Jonah. Mm -hmm. So 9 to 20. Kiss the line. Let's see what LPU can do here. Ang question ngayon, Anjo, tignan natin kung may panapos. Ayun. Ay mga bata ni Coach uh -huh. Edgar Baroga. Speaking of. Ito na, si Chaja Tulang with the service ace. And it will all start at the service line for LPU. Coach Ed switching up the liberos. Para sa mga ah. reception ulit. Si For the close-out close out game na. Yeah. Si Amber Biong. Instead of Flores now on the court for San Beda. Tulang. Oof. Set up. And sa likod. Stacy Lopez with the off-speed. Takro attack to Habakon. Saved by Puzon. Ball is still up. It's a chance ball for the Lady Red Spikers. Combination play for Castillo. Now it worked para sa Beda Lady Red Spikers. Kaina sinubukan nila in the middle of the set. Pero ngayon naging successful itong atake para sa kanila kasi medyo nag-scramble na. Itong blockers ang Lyceum. Makita natin, nagiging threat na rin ang middle blockers itong San Beda. Namely si Arizaba. Okay, naging decoy dun. Okay, Arizaba speaking of. 
getting an extended playing time here. Lopez, difficult pickup for Habakon. The play continues. Chaka Lopez sending it to Puzon here, who chooses Lopez again. Finally for Stacy Lopez. Stacy Lopez making that count. Late yung blockers, sinahod lang siya, kaya naman walang control yung blockers sa bola. That went out, ang laki ng gap sa gitna. This is a very unpredictable matchup we have here. Initially, we thought LPU was cruising. We're seeing a very different Sanbera team in the second set, Castillo. Oh! Nobody got the second ball. And Castillo scores another one. Sobrang laki confidence boost na yung mga doon ngayari. Tapos nakakadaon ng moral naman on the other side para sa Lyceum. Kasi nga yung mga doon miscommunication, sobrang late na bagay na lang nun. Ang iba, yung body language ng teams natin. Let's go to Coach Crum. Walang too much aggressive. Kasi pag ginawa natin yung nawawala tayo sa sistema, nawawala tayo sa focus eh. Ayan. Okay, given. 11 points. Walang imposible, kaya pa natin hapulin niya. Kaya! Buha mo na tayo, wasa mo na tayo. Oh. 22 to 11. Coach Cromwell is barking instructions here. Oh, Sir Leds, mm -hmm. Sir King, happy done, Sir Vic. Ang popogi naman no mga yun. Naman, grabe naman. Mang klase talaga. Talaga yung mga mananood natin dito. May manager na ba yun? Yun. Siya yung manager. Ah, siya pala. Oh. <laughs> A oh, nice serve. Better pick up from Tulo. Oh. Pero nahirapan kunin. Itong si Venice Puzon, 23 to 11. Kitang-kita natin yung energy shift. Napunta ang favor sa halos lahat ng bagay. Dito yeah. sa San Bede, Lady Red Spikers, para sa set na to. Everybody's shocked at what's happening right now. Last year's finalist, LPU, against a young San Bede team, Dolorito. Too strong. Mm -hmm. It is set point for San Beda. Medyo na late yung follow through ni Dolorito doon. Kaya it went outside. Mali din yung hitting form niya. It is snowballing right now for San Beda. Molina. Tip by Dio. Finally, nakapuntos din itong LPU. been rare for them here in the second set. At palitan ng tao mula kay Coach Cromwell. Rivas will come in alongside Stacy Lopez. Oh, para po sa mga kapuso natin na nonood, ginagawa itong 4-2 substitution. Usually, para tatlo pa rin po ang maiiwan sa harapan na spikers. Kompleto yung front line. Mm. Oh, it's an ace. Tamang bunot mula kay Coach Cromwell. Rivas scoring the point. So they save another set point. And the double, double contact, violation. yeah. On Castillo, let's hear it from Coach Ed. Basta, Coach Ed, mag-tres ka, ha? Yung tres niya ka, nang balikat lang na mag-BB. Dito ka na lang sa dulo. Ha? O, oh, ready ka rito. Yes. Kung, kung wala tayong ano, dulo-dulo lang. Ay, hindi yan. Okay, okay, let's go, guys! Coach now Ed. it's clear, Martin. Yeah. It's Bachar. Bachar, yes. Ah. Set by Coach Ed Baroga. So Malinao, gusto manigurado ni Coach Ed that they get this final point in set number two. Rivas, who scored the ace, bounce off the net, saved Castillo. Too easy of a pickup. Tolorito. Puzo. Too low on the one two. And it is San Beda equalizing the match with an emphatic set number two win. The score, 25 to 13. And we go back for set number three. This sweetens this matchup on GTV. Good job sa kanyang pagbabalik sa Olympic stage, si Pinay weightlifter Elrin Ando. Matapos po yan ang matagumpay niyang performance sa women's 59-kilogram event ng 2024 IWF World Cup 
sa Phuket, Thailand. Nakabuhat siya ng total na 228 kilograms at nakakuha pa ng ikapitong pwesto. Naungusa ng 25-year-old Pinay weightlifter ang kapwa atleta at Tokyo Olympics gold medalist na si Heidi Lynn Diaz sa parehong kategorya. Nakabuhat si Diaz ng total na 222 kilograms. Si Ando ang ikatlong Pinoy weightlifter na nag-qualify sa Paris Olympics. Sa kabuuan, siyam na ang pambato natin sa Olympics na magsisimula sa July. Good job at congratulations sa inyo dyan, Elrin! Good job ang isang Pinay weightlifter na nag-qualify sa 2024 Paris Olympics. After two sets, we're all tied up. One set apiece. Sa laban ng LPU at sa Beda, set number two. Much different story as the Lady Red Spikers got the 12-point win, 25 to 13. Pero dito makita natin binago ng sa Beda Lady Red Spikers. Yung attitude nila, mas lalo na sa reception. Naayos nila, nakakapag-receive sila ng maayos, nakakapag-set sila ng maayos at hindi nahihirapan yung setter nila to contribute the ball para sa kanilang Spikers. Bakit na natin scoring kanina? Arizapa with 4 points, Habakon with 7, and Castillo with 5 points. In comparison sa first set, dalawa lang ang pumupuntos para sa Sandeda, namely Habakon and Abraham. This set, ang dami ng choices. Nagdagdagan ka pa ng Castillo. On the other hand, Lysio naman, ang laki ng momentum shift, Martin. Nawalan sila ng service. Kung kanina, sobrang dominant nila sa service line. Pagdating naman dito sa second set, ang dami ng errors na binigay. At basang-basa na yung kanilang mga play. Mm -hmm. Nagkaroon din ng kumpiyansa yung blockers ng San Beda Lady Red Spikers na kailangan malusutan ni Vinny Spuzon. Ito yung challenge sa kanya ngayon, being the best setter back-to-back -back seasons. Yeah. Kung paano niya de-discartihan. Let's check out some of the numbers here. 11 unforced errors for LPU. That really hurt them. It's yes. the second set na yun. And countered by 11 attacks nitong San Beda. I think it was... Upon the entry of Castillo, Arizapa, and Bachar, that changed the complexion for the Lady Red Spikers. Yes, Martin. Tsaka, mga kapuso, yung mga hindi nyo nakikitang stats, no? Meron tayong tinatawag na block rebounds and digs na wala po dito sa ating stat line. Pero sobrang laking difference maker po nun. Masalo sa mga gantong laro. Makita natin kanina, ang laking momentum shift doon pag nakakadepensa ka sa likod at nakakadepensa ka sa harap. Yeah. Alright, set number three is here. First game for both teams in season 99. All tied up, one set apiece, which means we'll have at least a set number four. Good to have you with us. Dolorito, unable to connect. Encouraging start for LPU. Yes, miscommunication on the side of the San Beto Lady Red Spiders. Pero magkita natin yung kompiyansa sa palo. Naa, nandun pa rin. That is Ivanis Puzon. Again, big challenge for her. As early as the first game, it's a hard serve. Yeah. Oh, nobody home on the other side. Miscommunication between Molina and her spikers. So Venis Puzon, I think that will count as an ace. It will. Ah, uh, for Puzon. Mm -hmm. Puzon, another hard serve. Castillo denied. Now it's LPU's blocking, making its presence felt. Mapansin natin it all starts sa mahirap at mahirap na siben na service na tong Lyceum. Tun sila kung mukaw ng momentum yun. Yung tayo nang yani ng first set kanina ang hard ng serve nila na hirap pa magisip ito sa beda na nakakuwas sila ng kill blocks. Oh, Bachay inaangguluhan. But you cannot approach it that way. Yes. Kailangan with conviction. Yeah. Four to nothing start for LPU. Coach Ed, probably the quickest timeout of the match so far. Pakinggan natin siya. Hindi ka pwedeng taas ng taas. Bumato ka ng normal na bato. Hindi pwedeng bahala na spiker. Kaya mo mag-adjust spiker mamaya. Eh, bahala na. Hindi po pwedeng ganun. Hindi mo natin niisayo yan. Pag alanganin ka, pwede ka naman mag-drop ball kahit sa back. Inisayo mo naman yun eh. Those instructions para kay Kat Molina. 
after that miss set earlier. Trabaho mo kasi yung bilang setter, kailangan niyo yung pinaka-vocal sa lahat ng teammates mo sa loob. Kasi ikaw yung nagmamando eh. Correct. Kung anong set plays ang iba ba tumot, kung sino bibigyan mo. Kaya kailangan vocal ka all the time. Apusan with another good serve. Muntikan pa yun. Pachar! Andun yung blockers. LPU will retaliate. Buhay pa. Castillo! Perfect placing. Perfect Castillo. placing. Tama, hindi niya na hinayaan magka-second touch pa. Nakita niya, walang de-depensa dun sa zone 5. Dinala din yung bola without so much power. Puntos. The graphic mission from Castillo! Although she commits the service at her. That LPU hurts. with a four-point lead. Mm, that hurts. Mas lalo pag apat yung hinahabon yung kalamangan. Nakapuntos kayo and then magkakaroon ka ng error. This is Jonah Dolorito. Seven points today. But she's been up and down in terms of her attempts. Underhand setup. Habakon. Andun si Dolorito sa likod. Doguna! Puts it through. Kung kanina, mga puso, namamayagpag itong blockage ng San Pedro Lady Red Spikers, binabasag na. Ni Doguna, kitang-kita natin, lakas ng braso. Andun yung blockers, ang ganda ng timing, pero it's too powerful for them. Yep. Jonah... Doguna, or Joanne Doguna, rather. One of the most powerful, tsaka pinakamataas, isa mga pinakamataas. Dating sa portion 2-hun. I heard that. Angel Habakon. Nakita natin doon, no? ginawa rin nila yung ginagawa ng Lyceum sa kanila. It was a low, fast set. Yeah. Kaya nalate ang blockers ng Lyceum. Good job para sa San Beda Lady Red Spiders. Narinig ko yun, naramdaman ka. Ang lutong ng atake niya ito ni Habakon. Only the second point though for San Beda here in the third. Who's on? Over to Tula. Too deep on the side. Molina will set up a charm. And then si Lopez sa likod. Toguna! Molina keeps it up. Habakon. And then pa rin si Lopez. Great floor defense by Jaika Lopez. Ooh. And an attack error on Dolorito. Oh, medyo nag-hesitant si Dolorito doon. Kung i-offsmith ba niya or the drop bull niya. Ayun tuloy. Not over. Uh -huh. I was supposed to be a back row attack. Mm -hmm. Pero ang ganda ng floor defense, both teams. Yeah. Three to six. Ooh, service ace for Erin Navarro. Now the lead is down sa so two points na lang. Just like that. San Beda with the easy retaliation here in set three. Ang bilis nun. Sunod-sunod para sa San Beda. It was... 4-0, 5-1, now it's 6-4. Toguna stops the bleeding. Who you gonna call? Yeah. When you need a stop, of course. There's no one else but Toguna. Joan Toguna, easily one of the best scorers of the league, even with a double block right in front of her. She knew what she was gonna do. Service error on Osada. Nah, that, that they, they didn't need that. That is Bachar. Better pick up here. Oh, Jaja Tulang. Ano hinihintay natin kanina pa? We know she's capable of that. Nakita natin for the past few seasons, Tulang kabisado niya na yan. Alam na alam niya na gagawin niya. That was a sharp angle and a powerful spike. All right, let's go to this technical timeout. On the other side, Julia Ong. Good job ang isang Pinay weightlifter na nag-qualify sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Si Rosie Ramos na ang ikapitong pambato ng Pilipinas sa Paris. Nakuha niyang slot matapos manalo sa women's 49kg category sa Olympic Qualifying Tournament ng International Weightlifting Federation sa Phuket, Thailand. Tubong Sambuanga City ang 20-year-old weightlifter na pinsan ng Olympic gold medalist na si Heidelin Diaz. Makakasama niyang lahat. Pagpapa rin kayo dito sa NCAA Season 99 New Heroes of the Game Volleyball Tournament para sa dalawang 
soldiers natin. Gusto niyang itatak ang mindset na back to zero para sa kanya, kanika nilang mga kopunan para kay Coach Cromel Garcia. Ibalik daw nila ang pattern nila. Magtiwala at mag-usap para naman kay Coach Edgar. Ay gusto niya muli makita ang kumpiyansa ng Lady Red Spikers. Lahat pinaalalahanan din niya na anytime dapat ready ang bawat isa. Dahil anytime pagkailangan, ipapasok ko kayo. All for now, Martin and Anna. Both of our coaches have been great in terms of adjustments in this match. Maraming salamat. Julia Ong for that report. Set number two, Sanbeda responded. Now it's LPU. We're showing us some resilience and recovery as well. From that disastrous set number three, Ja Ja Tulang. Again, it all starts with a good service para sa Lyceum Lady Pirates. Makikita natin, ito rin yung trend kayo na nangyari nung first set kapag nasisimulan nila sa mga bigat na service at nakikita nang nahihirapan sa reception itong San Bedal Red Red Spikers. Doon sa nang nagkakaroon ng confidence. Yeah. Molina, over to Habakon. Sobra. Too strong for Angel, but there was a check ball. There was a check. Line daw eh. Touches the line. Ah, line. Oo, line ah, daw. Ah, okay. Sakto. So, Angel gets the hit. LPU, <laughs> si Venice, kinakausap itong si first referee, Rene Gonzalez. Puzon, choosing the back row. Molina, one, two. Nakabangan siya doon. So, San Beda gets the point. Trims the lead down to three. Nabitin si Venice Puzon doon. Ang ganda sana nung coverage. Eh. Ang ganda rin sa nung anticipation. Yeah. Alam ko nung sa'yo nilalagay eh, pero... Serving is Angel Habakon. How about that jump serve? Pio scores! In a while. The yeah. queen of tips back at it again. <laughs> you like her connection with Venice Puzon. Playing so smart. Alam niyo ko sa'yo nilalagay all the time. May hindi kailangan ng too much power. Amazing play. Dito siya na-check na ito ni Arizapa. Toguna. Molina, underhand set up for Castillo. And Castillo converts. It's nice to see na ang San Beda Lady Red Spikers, even though nag-ahabol sila, makita natin yung energy nila hindi bumababa. Unlike the first set. Nung first set, nung nakita nilang malayo na yung kalamangan, down na sila. But this third set, doon talaga magkakasukatan eh. Mas lalo ko pagsalitan kayo ng set ng yeah. kalaban mong team. Uh -huh. Nagkasukatan na kayo eh for the, for the first two sets. Itong right. third set, ito na yun. Ito na yung totoong characters nila. Ito na tawag nila. Pivotal. Yes. Set number three. Castillo. Difficult angle. John Doguna from the back. Picked up. Here's Castillo again. Yeah, approach that under the ball. Yes. Nauna siya kaysa sa set yung set, medyo mataas. Inaasahan niya ata, fast and low. Napailalim siya. Awkward angle, automatic, outside game. Para kay Castillo. But you like the action from the middle blocker, Ari Zappa. Diba? Rumorol. Yes. Uh, dig. Sobrang bihira. Ulitin ko para sa mga middle block. That's right. Back row hit. Sobra. Kinargahan masyado ni Joan Doguna. Yes, back-to-back miss hits for the both teams. Now here we go. We're only separated by three points. Dito po sa third set. And there is the setter of San Beda, Kat Molina, on deck. Puzon. Ooh, lefty tip. Not gonna work. Bachar, sobra. Sobra yung atake. Yes. Ni Janelle Bachar. Ang ganda sana ang initiative. Nakita ko gusto niya ibabawan eh. Yeah. Pero the follow through, cool lang kaya i-went outside. And again, itong si Bachar. Palitan si Arizapa at Navarro eh. Pero simula nang pumasok siya, hindi na siya dinalas dito ni Coach Ed. Oh! That's a kill block for LPU! Ang ganda nung timing, kitang-kita, magkatikit na magkatikit itong blockers ng Lyceum Pirates. No way out para kay Batchar. That was Jaja Tulang and Osada combining for that block. Castillo, oh, picked up by Puzon, what a dig. Tulang, andun si Habakon sa likod. 
back row violation na. Oo. Malayo ang pinanggalingan. Oo, masyado nang mabilis yung ball lang yun. Para may set pa. Ayan na. Oh yeah. Hmm, it went over. So that's an error. On San Beda. Who's on with a sharp one? Molina to Bachar. The tip. Oh, naandun si Puzon. Toguna. Too strong. No check. Yes, outside. LP is disappointed. They were sure that there was a check ball. Oh, they reversed the call. Okay. Nadaan. Nadaan siya. Facial expressions. So, first. Uh, second technical timeout. Second time technical yeah. timeout. All right, let's go to a quick break. Good job sa kanyang pagbabalik sa Olympic stage, si Pinay weightlifter Elrin Ando. Matapos po yan ang matagumpay niyang performance sa women's 59-kilogram event ng 2024 IWF World Cup sa Phuket, Thailand. Nakabuhat siya ng total na 228 kilograms at nakakuha pa ng ikapitong pwesto. Naungusa ng 25-year-old Pinay weightlifter ang kapwa-atleta at Tokyo Olympics gold medalist na si Heidi Lynn Diaz sa parehong kategorya. Nakabuhat si Diaz ng total na 222 kilograms. Si Ando ang ikatlong Pinoy weightlifter na nag-qualify sa Paris Olympics. Sa kabuuan, siyam na ang pambato natin sa Olympics na magsisimula sa... Some of the fans inside San Andres Sports Complex watching on a beautiful Tuesday afternoon. We're seeing some familiar faces kanina from the EAC Generals. That was the biggest Venice Puzon fan earlier. Puzon. Tracks the ball down. They go to wow. Aha, Jonah. Dolorito. What an angle para kay Dolorito. It works every time kapag dinadala niya sa super cross court, mas lalo na sa zone one. Itang kita natin. Kinasa niya yung kamay niya papunta doon. Kita natin niya wala rin depensa. Ang San Beda Lady Red Spiders doon. Good eye para kay Dolorito. Special to yan. Cut shot mula kay Dolorito. Molina. One hand mm. set for Navarro. What a connection. Yes, and good adjustment then. Para kay Molina. Naihabol pa niya yun. Nakita niya, tumalun agad itong blocker niya. Ng Lyceum na, although alam nila na backline siya, na dapat hindi tatalon. Tulang! Oh, almost the same with Dolorito. Cross-court hit. Parang nagpapagandahan ng cross-court attacks nung si Tulang at si Dolorito. Ah. And the lead... As balloon to 8, 18 to 10. LPU naman ngayon ang kumakamada. So na Dolorito will serve. Sharp serve. Back to Angel. Back on. Oh, one-handed save. It's a free ball for San Beda. Let's see what they can do. Oh, free ball din yung binalik. A chance to set up. Combination play for Jaja Tulang. Ito po. Ang first combination ng Lyceum Lady Pirates kung kanina gumana sa Beda. Sabi ng Lyceum Lady tayo papatalo. Kumagat sa decoy na late, na delay, automatic. No blockers for yeah. two lang. Oh, so I love Puto the angling. Oh. Pero nakita mo ba kanina kung paano hinila si Puzon? Tangan na, let's go check. Bibigyan ng doubling score. Tayo ang magdo-doubling score kahit kaysa isa lang si Puzon. At tsagayin nyo. Tsagayin nyo. Ay, pasapan natin yung patong na yun. Anong tumalun ka lang. Ha? Kapag alam niyo yung return ball, more on patong siya. Okay? Hey, hey! Yes! So now, Coach Ed is asking for a two-is-to-one conversion. Ayan, bakit na natin yung replay kayo na kung paano hinila si Guzon? Kasi muntik na siya. Magka... Uh, violation. <laughs> Heads up play by Hiromi Osada to pull Venice Puzon. Yan ang totoong teammate. Ayan, correct. Oh, di ka papabayaan. Crucial yun ha, kasi na-involve ulit si Puzon sa play yes. pagkatapos na. Here's Molina. Abagon. Ball is kept up. Guzman saves it. It's a chance ball though. Thrown to the other side. Nakaro. 
saved by Guzman again. Jonah, single coverage by Navarro. Pulang. Underhand, reverse set. Nandun si Duguna. Who's on? Wow, what a set! This is the longest rally so yeah. far, Martin. Back on! Buhay pa! Rally continues. Tolorito popped up. Bachar puts Boom. it down. Bachar, the lefty, ended that long rally. Both teams excelling. Sani lang good defense at net defense. Ang daming block rebounds. Ang daming good things at everything. Excellent things tayo nakita. But then again, Bachar with that long arms capitalizing over her blockers. Bachar. Again, dealing damage off the bench today. One of the newest faces, netong Lady Red Spikers. Parang walang... Ooh! Wow! Ooh! Angel Habakon detonates. Look at that swag, Martin. Look at this. She wanted this. Habakon, baon na baon. And you can tell from the reaction right after, she yes. is fired up. She flew. Martin, yeah. for a brief second. That's right. Again, it shows us her potential. Oh, John, John Doguna. Sabi niya, meron din ako niyan. Yes. <laughs> Pero nonchalant si Doguna. Oh, nonchalant. No, nonchalant, bro. <laughs> Para ano lang siya, usual day. Yes, usual oh. day. Kasi alam naman natin na grabe yung score. Itong si Doguna. Nice serve by Osada. Molina, one-handed set. Habako, who picked up by Osada. Play continues. Molina, over to Habako again. Habako, down the line. It's Up. outside, yes. Yep. Kita natin yung gigil kay Habako. Every time mag-a-approach siya, nakakagat na agad siya sa labi niya. Yep. Andun na yung killer instinct nung bata. Yep. Na alam natin nang gigil ngayon sa kanyang first game ever dito sa NCAA. Kumangat yung kumpiyansa niya. Good sa atake kanina. Oh, a service ace. Unleashed by Dolorito. Oh no, by Osada. Yoromi Osada. First year player. Transferee from FEU. One of the four transferees mula sa FEU na nasa LPU na. Dolorito. I read natin, Martin. Itong Lyceum, meron ng 11 aces. Yeah. For this game. Pakarami niyan. Oh, the push works for Bachar. Bachar kanina going for that power spike. Now going for that smart tip behind the blockers of Lyceum Lady Pardons. Sa utak maglaro itong si Bachar. Tingin na pa niya ginagawa yun actually. Tingin na first set na ito ko pa niya siya drop. Tapos pagdito ng side to side, lahat pinapalo niya. This time, may nagsap niya. Pinagsama niya ang palo at drop goal. Okay, ang kakargahan. Oh, San Beda with a rejection. Too straight for the Lady Red Spikers. I believe that is Arizapa's third kill block for this game. Ang ganda ng timing. Towering. Nasaraduhan niya. Lopez. Difficult pass. Oh, Tom Guna connects. Hindi pwedeng single blocker kay Duguna. Mas lalo na na ang power hit niya or power spike niya ay ang cross-court angle. Hindi pwedeng libero lang ang defensa. Kailangan lagi dalawa ang blockers at automatic kailangan ang block rebound. Love the adjustment from Puzan there. Mm -hmm. Lapit sa net eh. Still, she was able to execute the two-hand set for Duguna. No wonder. Back-to-back -back best setter. Uh -huh. Ah, Tulang sends it straight to the net. Breather for San Beda. They have Klein Abraham back on the court. So, si Bachar, upo muna. But quality minutes off the bench for Bachar, Janelle Bachar. So, Angel Habakon. I'm entertained by her antics, especially with the jump serve. Quick attack for Hart Pio. The queen of tips. Back at it again. Doing smart plays time to time. Hindi kailangan ng power. Pinapakita niya. Sige, sa inyo na yung malakas na palo. Sa akin na itong wit and smart plays. Dinap lang niya sa gitna kasi alam niya walang depense eh. It is. Set point for LPU. Castillo. Denied. Balik ang bola. Sa LPU. Tolorito. Scores the final point of set number three. And LPU 
recovers in this match. They are now ahead again, two sets to one, as we go to set number four. Good job ang isang Pinay weightlifter na nag-qualify sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Si Rosie Ramos na ang ikapitong pambata ng Pilipinas sa Paris. Nakuha niyang slot matapos manalo sa women's 49kg category sa Olympic Qualifying Tournament ng International Weightlifting Federation sa Phuket, Thailand. Tubong Sambuanga City ang 20-year-old weightlifter na pinsan ng Olympic gold medalist na si Heidelin Diaz. Makakasama niyang lalaban para sa Pilipinas sa Paris Olympics sina E.J. Obiena, Carlos Yulo, Alea Finnegan, Yumir Marshall, Nesty Petesho at Ira Villegas. Bagong WBC World Minimum Weight Champion, si Pinoy Boxer Melvin Jerusalem. Matapos po ang kanyang laban sa Nagoya, Japan. Sa loob ng 12 rounds, ilang beses na patumba ni Melvin, ang Japanese boxer. Ating laban, LPU back on track after winning set number 3, 25 to 15. Full recovery mula dito sa LPU Lady Pirates after falling apart in set number 2. Again, set number 3 was in their favor. Pero Martin, makita natin this third set yung nangyari kanina, no? Dominance ng attacking prowess na meron itong Lyceum Lady Pirates. Namely, Jaja Tulang, Duguna, and the Queen of Tips, yeah. Bio. Si Hart Bio. Duguna with 14 points already. Sa kabila naman, sa Beda Lady Red Spikers, Sabahon with 10, Castillo with 7, Arizapa, and Bachar with 5 points each. What a seamless exit for... Zonzi Dahab, dahil lang pumalit sa kanya, 5'11", Hart Bio, who also provides points for LPU. And some height in the front line as well. So parang pinalitan lang talaga, you know? Nag-iba lang ng mukha. Mukha, oh, oh. Height ng konti height, tumangkad. Yes. Yan. <laughs> But again, lalo pag si Venice Puzon yung setter mo, you, you will be activated as a middle blocker. Expect that you will be activated. Tsaka alam mo, nakapag... Magaling ang setter mo. Yeah. Kumpiyansa ka. Every time na tatalon ka sa end. Looking at the stat line, mga kapuso, kitang-kita natin kalamangan ng Lyceum Lady Pirates o San Beda Lady Red Spikers. Lamang din sila sa blocks and sa aces. Pero on the other hand, this set, this time, mas maraming binigay na unforced errors itong San Beda Lady Red Spikers na very uncharacteristic yeah. para sa kanila. I would like to point out that LPU was able to reduce their unforced errors in that uh, yeah, set number three mm -hmm. from 11 in set two to five. So, malaking bagay yun para sa kanila, especially with their conference, or her confidence rather, and upping their attack points as well. So, tignan natin, set number four, again, not yet over. Tignan natin kung matatapos na dito ng LPU or makaka extend pa tong San Beda into a fifth set. Let's Fever, see. First fifth set of the season. Pero nakita natin yung brilliance nung San Beda Lady Red Spikers kanina. Namely, haba ko na nangyugigil na. Ito naman. Uh, Venice Puzon. Yep. That's just how she is at the service area. Puzon. Mahirap talaga. Receive in. Ah, Ito yung mga serve ni Puzon eh. Last Sharp year. and fast eh. Oh. Pangalan siya sa best service Pangalawa. last year. Pangalawa. Right behind our MVP last season, si Mary Rose Dapol. Mm -hmm. Puzon had 20 aces in the elimination round. Pachar, who is back on the court. Kept up. Oh, nice dig from Habakon. Piyong. There's a free ball. Muntik umabot sa ceiling. Puzon. Oh, Osada. Puzon activating Osada na kanina pa medyo binibitawan ng blockers ng Lady Red Spikers kasi hindi masyado nabibigyan. But this time, proving her worth, getting that point para sa Lyceum Lady Pirates. Hindi ako na fake eh. Kasabay ng mga blockers ng San Beda. I thought they were gonna execute the combination play. Oh, Dolguna, or Dolorito rather. Regalo. Para kay Jonah Dolorito. Again, ulit-ulitin ko to Martin. Ito yung strength na meron ng Lyceum Lady Pirates kapag malakas ang kanilang service yeah. at nakikita nilang nahihirapan sa reception itong San Beda Lady Red Spikers. Doon sila nagkakapitalize. 
Pero kung hindi nasasabi ito, si Venice Puzon, nakatambay ulit sa service line. <laughs> Puzon, combination. Ah, some better recovers on the floor D. Pachar, finally. Ends the drought for San Beda here in set four. Much needed stop kung kaninang third set. Apat tagad ang kalamangan bago makabawi. Itong San Beda ngayon naman, dalawa na lang. Ang nahabal nila. They needed more stops like that. Let's see if they'll find their form that they had in set number two. Oh, Lopez saves it. Back set to Bachar. Nandun si Puzon. Underhand set of Fortulang. The blocker was there. And it is a kill block for San Beda. Good block for Arizapa. Good job for closing out that gap. Para mailang si Tulang na dalhin sa cross court. Kaya pinilit niya down the line and doon. Kill block for San Beda Lady Red Spikers. So one of the main strengths of San Beda enabling them to convert there. Who's on? Set. Tolorito. Yes. Off the block. Four to two. Smart play para kay Dolorito. Pinalo niya papunta sa kanang side niya. Nakita niya towering defense. Automatic. Kapag katabi mo na yung antena, sobrang laki yung chance at sobrang dali magpa-check out. And you got Jonah. Tolorito. Veterano na yan. Habakon. Oh, what a save by Guzman. Tula! Ah, directly to Castillo. Wala. Walang inabutan yung second ball na ito ni Habakon. Walang nag-over. Sayang effort ni Habakon. Set this one out. Miscommunication. Ito may hinayang pagkatapos. Oh, frustration eh. Dolorito with a nice serve. Difficult pass. Aadliban. Nihabakon. Puzon. Oh! Toguna! With a power hit. Ito na. Kailangan na ng sagot ng San Beda Lady Red Spigas. Hindi nila pwedeng hayaan na magtuloy-tuloy itong momentum ng Lice yung Lady Pirate. Mas lalo. At nasa unahan si Toguna. That's Toguna's 15th point of the match. If I'm not mistaken. Okay. Dolorito. Uy, lumabas. Rare service error, at least in this set for LPU. They started great earlier. Ito na si Bachar. She will be tested at the service line mula sa Pangasinan. Legit freshman. Itong si Janelle Bachar. Very costly service error para kay Bachar at sa San Beda Lady Red Spikers. They didn't need that. Nung mas lalo pag door die set to para sa inyo. The lesser errors, the better. That's true. Osada. Nandun si Castillo. Ito si Habakon. Angel. Habakon continues to give us some flashes of brilliance. Yes. Good set play din. Ang ganda. Nung binalik pa sa likod, hindi sa harap si Neto, hindi pa akong dress. Nalito yung blockers ng Lyceo. Arthur jump serve. Too long! That was too long. Nang gigil. Ito na, down by two na lang, Martin. And, yeah. San Beda knocking on the door. Angel Habakon. Despite the jump serve, Anjo, She's been very efficient yes. on her serves. And hindi siya mukhang napapagod, uh, Martin. Yeah. Ito, this takes you a lot of energy. Yes. Yeah. And confidence, ah. Confidence, huh? that's right. Dapat buo loob mo dyan. Habakon. Mula sa likod. Easy up. Here's the underhand setup. Jaja Tula. Saved by Bachar. Buhay pa to. Good defense by Bachar. Puzon, Bio, puts it down. Martin, hindi pa napitigilan si Bio. Kanina pang first set sa kanin sa kanyang mga quick tips. First technical timeout, eight to five for LPU. Let's hear Julia Ong after this break.
bigong makapasok sa 2024 Paris Olympics si Tokyo Olympic gold medalist at Pinay weightlifter na si Haydelin Diaz. Hindi nakamit ni Diaz ang kailangang puntos sa 59kg weightlifting category sa qualification rounds ng 2024 IWF World Cup. Dagdag naman sa listahan ng pambato ng Pilipinas para sa Paris Olympics ang Pinay weightlifter na si Elrin Ando. Pinataob ni Ando si Diaz sa parehong weight category. Women's Volleyball Tournament. Huwag mag-relax pero dapat hindi rin pressured sa ginagawa. Ngayong set down na ito ay dapat mas lalong huwag silang huminto. Dahil sabi nga ni Coach Romel Garcia, masarap makita ang pinaghirapan para naman sa Lady Red Spikers. Paalala ni Coach Edgar sa kanila na humiki sila at i-enjoy ang laro. Mental toughness daw ang kalaban nila ngayon kaya dapat huwag silang susuko. All for now, Martin and Anjo. Maraming salamat, Julia. Well, for Coach Cromwell, he's right. You know, this is fruits of labor. Lahat ng off-season work, ma-manifest nga. Dito sa kanilang first match. But Castillo right there, good response of the technical timeout para sa San Beda. On the side of Coach Edgar, syempre, hindi mo may iwasan pag bago yung mga player. Madalas yan, tense pa. Yes. Kasi hindi pa nila masyado, hindi pa masyado sila familiar doon sa pakiramdam of extended playtime on the court. Tsaka sabi ni Coach Ed, smile, enjoy the game. Kasi nga, at the end of the day, laro pa rin to. Kailangan natin enjoy it. Here we go, set number four. Toguna targeting the back this time. Such a gifted scorer. Joan Toguna. Back at her playground. Alam na alam niya na kapang-kapang. Kung kailan niya lalaksan yung palo niya, kung kailan niya lalagyan ng placement, at kung kailan niya itadrop. Wala naman siya sa likod ngayon. Underhand cross-court set. Tolo rito. Oh, it's still alive. Who's on? Dio! Martin, I don't know about you, pero hindi pa nabablock. Kahit isang beses is long si Dio the whole game. Good effort though from the Lady Red Spikers, Pachar keeping it alive. But mm -hmm. may scramble, Puzon choosing the quickest attacker. Castillo denied. It's a free ball. Ooh, that's a good free ball. But I thought with the Puzon. Wow. It's been the story for the San Beda Lady Red Spikers kanina ba na kapag nagkakaroon sila ng chance, doon tumadating yung mga miscommunications nila pagdating sa floor defense. Kung sino mag-aangat, nagkakalituan sila eh. Diyong couldn't believe it. Coach Ed, pahinga natin. Uy, Gising, hindi mo kaya nila nag-a-enjoy kayo, hindi naman kayo nakaka-score. Sampay, sampay, sampay. Sampay lang, sampay lang. Eleven to six. Here in set number four. Gini gising ni coach Ed. Itong si Amber Biong. Kasi nautakan siya kanina ni Venice Puzo. Mm. Here's the pick up. Molina. Abacon of speed. Aho! Angel Abacon. That's a point for her. Yes. Good choice. Kasi kanina pa nilalagay ng power ni Abacon yung kanyang mga hits. But this time, tinayin niyang... Going off speed lang, ilagay niya sa gitna kung kailan kung kailan malaki yung butas ng defense ng Lacey, it worked. Seven, serving eleven. Kat Molina, converted setter serves. Puzon, Dolorito! That was a powerful spike by Dolorito, pero ba't ka ulit niya din? Medyo na late ang middle blocker ng San Beda Lady Red Spikers. Ang laki ng uwang dun sa cross court ngayon na alam naman natin na ayun yung favorite position at zone na paluin ni Dolorito. Grabe yung halinhina ng Toguna at Dolorito. Grabe yung halinhina na word, bro. Oo oh, nga eh. Malalim yun, siyempre. Ay, malalim. <laughs> Iba talaga pag game changer. Sira. Kapuso. And... Oh, it is returned by Castillo. No, no, it's Eri Navarro. 
Nabati na Anton. Nabati na Martin. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Kahit delay doon, ah. Mm-hmm. Ang talon niya. Good effort. Para kay Dio. Who's on? Jonah! Popped wow. up by Biyong. Good dig by Biyong. Uh, 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 Single-handed. Uh, uh, Absorbing that oh. powerful attack. Oh, Venice Buzon with a one-two. Very smart. Kanina pa ina-attempt ni Buzon mag-drabble actually. Pero ito yung first successful drabble niya for this game. And ang ganda ng timing. Let Grabe yung see. defense. Oh. Pero Venice Buzon. Dinam lang. 13 to 8. And she's back at the service line. And she scores an ace. Back to back points for Puzon. The second best server last season. And the back to back best setter para sa NCA Women's Volleyball. Ming Ming Puzon. 14 to 8. LPU in control. Pacha! That was too long for yeah. Bachar. You can tell from how she hit the ball. Mm. Kahit konting mapailalim ka lang, ano? Yes. Mahirap na agad adjustan kasi ang bilis ng transition dito sa volleyball. Eh. Ang bilis ng projection din ng set. Yeah. Kaya kailangan almost perfect. And Puzon is now starting to connect from the service line. 16 to 8, LPU doubling up on San Beda. Let's go to this technical timeout. Another good news mga kapuso, pasok na rin po sa 2024 Paris Olympics ang Pinoy weightlifter na si Jan Febuar Siniza. Yan ay matapos siyang magwagi sa qualification tournament na 2024 IWF World Cup sa Thailand. Nakuha ni Siniza ang ikaapat na pwesto sa men's 61kg weightlifting category. Siya ay kawalong dagdag sa pambato ng Pilipinas para sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Una nang nag-qualify sa 49kg weightlifting category si Rosie G. Rasa. Sa crowd with Kaira on the lower right. We're very anxious right now. But San Bera is down here in the fourth set. LPU threatening to close out the match here. I mean, service ace na to. Simon din pa. Oh, Venice Puzon with an ace. Di inabuti ni Bio. She's really a threat whenever she's there at the service line. And then this was the second one. Another Back. hard serve. Good pick. Good Back. receive. Puzon. Abakon. Dug up. Dolorito. Checked. Puzon. Pro hit for Duguna. Here's Bio. Setting up a back on there. Guzman. Oy, free ball. Molina to Habakon. Pagkarin ang depensa. It is still alive. Mm. Nope, it's not gonna go across. Makita natin, crunch time na to para sa San Beda Lady Red Spikers humapol. Yeah. At ang go-to girl nila ngayon, Habakon. Kailangan ng katulong ni Habakon, hindi pwedeng siya lang. Kasi puro siya tuhan. Alam ng LPU. Oo, oh, oh, kung sino eh. Oh. Kailangan merong isa pang, kahit isang option pa. Who's on? Choosing two lang. Parang LPU. Maraming pwedeng puntahan si Venice Puzon. Yes, kaya naman, ang hirap eh. Pag ikaw yung blocker, kaya na middle blocker ka, yung tatlong spikers sa harap mo, threat. Yeah. Kasi kapag middle blocker ka, nagbibigay ka ng percentage. Kung nara sa open, sige, bibigyan ko 40% protection. Itong gita, bigyan ko ng 20%. And the rest, dito sa utility. Pero kapag lahat, ang hirap pantayan, ibigay yung 100% mo eh. Balikan natin yung... Report ni Julia kanina. Sabi ni Coach Crum, he wants his team to be unpredictable this season. That's what we're seeing so far. But speaking of unpredictability, Angel Habakon is not yet done. Ganatin to. Good save by Castillo leading to this attack cross court by Habakon. 17 to 10. I serve by Bachar. Ooh, a very rare yep. error para kay Benis Buzon. That's not a, yeah, it's rare, not a strange occurrence though. Yes. Nung Sunday, si Mundo Niedo ang nag-double contact. So, 
Alam mong it happens to the best of them. Yes. Tuguna. Attack up by Biong. Good dig. Good. Ooh, rejected. Return to center. Ito yung sinasabi ko, Martin. Hindi pwedeng isa lang ang bibigyan mo ng bola para makapuntos kayo. Kasi nabablock at nabablock na kapag set up agad itong blockers ng Lyceo. Mas lalo na kapag nasa unan si Habakon, kailangan yeah. naman kahit decoy. Mm -hmm. Para man lang mabawasan isa yung blocker sa harapan niya. Oh. Again, majority of the balls going to Habakon. Ito pumasok na si Klein Abraham. Pero si Habakon pa rin ang nag-attempt. Toguna! Ooh! Transition play for LPU. How about that? Look at this. Layo nung pasa ni Puzon. No problem. Grabe yun. Ipas na, break ball pa, yeah. puntos pa, ang lakas pa nung palo. That's right. Ito. Ibang kumpiyansa ni Dugo na. Correct. Biong. Just a back set. Uh, Abraham, they needed that. Lane Abraham. Lane Abraham is able to score. Off the block. The block? Yeah. Sasabi natin, kailangan ng katulong ni Angel Habakon could be, or we expect it to be, Abraham. Pero nasa likod na si Habakon ngayon. Oh, ito, nasa likod na siya. Nice serve. Oh. Over-received. It's a chance ball for Sambeda. Castillo off the block. Ito na, nagkakaroon na ng momentum itong Sambeda Lady Red Spikers. At this point, no errors. Yeah. Kung meron man, at least 2 is to 1. The lead is 6 for LPU. 13. Serving 19. Oh, wow! Service ace! Habakon keeping the Lady Red Spikers alive. That's the spirit. Grabe yun, oh. That was a tight angle she chose. Yes, she's been doing the three na pang oh, first set. Hindi siya na papatid ng sweet market. Yeah. Very efficient on the jump serve. I'm out coach from. Yeah, yeah. May galing kaya jump serve na. Top spin naman. Okay. Pabot kami set. Sabi ko nga sa inyo, hindi natin kailangan pabilisin yung bola natin. Pabotin lang natin sa set. Naging dyan. Tiwala lang sa sarili. O, yung mga jump serve, kaya ko Hindi nag whiteboard dun si Coach Krom. Oh, sinabmo that was more of a motivational timeout. Yeah, tiwala sa sarili. Yan ang kailangan nila. So kasi simple lang siya nabiya. Receive lang tayo. Tapos tiwala. Yun na yon. Yeah, correct. Para lang makahinga itong mga players niya. Abakon. Another good serve. Pero good receive. Tulang, tapped up by Abakon. Abraham, nandun si Dolorito. Puzon, choosing Toguna. Oh, Abakon again with a dig. Castillo's turn. Tulang keeps it alive. Back row hit. Oh, it goes it, out. Oh, it's out. Wow. LPU thought it was good. A referees. And now the lead is down to yeah. four. Just like that. That's right. Consistency sa service line para sa San Beda Lady Red Spikers. Block rebounds. Good defense sa floor. Nakakadikit sila eh. Grabe yung mga dig din. Ito ni Habakon. Oo. This is four straight points. If I'm not mistaken for San Beda. Just the setup. Oh, sa ato mababa. Oh, yeah. That was too low. So that's the momentum breaker for San Beda. LPU. A chance to finish things off. They're five points away from taking their first win in season 99. Too long, a good server serving for Lyceum. Good reception. Abraham. Puzon. Ah, Bio. Dug up this time by yeah. Biyong. Good dig. Toguna angling it. Rally continues. Uy. Gimme, buhay pa rin. Biong choosing Castillo. 200 push, derecho kay Guzman. Toguna will try. Biong pops it up. Here's the setup. A much better setup for Castillo. And she connects. 
Castillo so, not giving up with yeah. the play. Kung ano mga iba to sa harap niya, papalunit, papalo niya, mapataas, mapapababa yung set, mapa-adjust ball, wala siyang pinipinan. Umaapit ang Lady Red Spikers. By the way, great job to Gina Espina, their secondary setter and rookie setter for holding down the fourth. Bio! Ah! Hot Bio! They still don't have the answer for Bio's smart place. Yana. She's been effective the entire match. Kita mo yung panghihinayang kay Habakon. 17 points for Doguna today. Takro hit. Easy up. Tolorito puts it down. That's the problem when your middle works. Sobrang dali ng buhay para sa yung mga outside hitters. At is lalo na si Doguna po yung nasa harapan mo. LPU smells blood. Let's go to San Beda. Go check. Twenty-two to sixteen. It's the rookie Angel Habakon. Narinig natin yung sigaw niya. Walang susuko, ah. Tinrabaho nila, makabalik dito sa set number four natin. They don't want to let this go, but LP, of course, has other things in mind. Nothing's impossible, pero kailangan paghirapan yeah. at maging consistent. Castillo, not the best response after a timeout, Anjo. Yes, that's true, Martin. Attack error para kay Castillo. Napasobre yung approach niya para sa isang patong play. Eh. Napasugod siya. Madikit masyado sa net. Yeah. Lady Pirates, two points away from taking this match. Espina to Castillo. Pinabawi, but dug up by Tulang. Here's Tolarito. Explodes for that attack. Match point, LPU. Sanay na ang Lyceum sa ngayon moments. Digdikan man yan, namang man sila, nagahabol man sila, they have the experience. Yeah, no wonder. Grabe ang kumpiyansa ng bawat isa sa kanila. Ano mang punto ng laro. And to serve for the match, leading scorer of LPU, Joan Duguna. Better reception. Habakon off speed. Not gonna work. Bio! Popped up. Castillo! Out! Saved by Guzman. But no second ball for LPU. So San Beda. Saves one match, match point. point. Yeah. 17 to 24. Kat Molina on deck. Pressure pack serve. Needs no error. Nice serve. Yeah, nice serve. Who's on? One, two. Nabasa ng San Beda. Castillo. Who's on to Bio? Returned. Tolorito sent back oh, twice in a row for the blockers of San Beda. Another match point saved by the Lady Red Spikers. Ayo Bitawan. 18-24, Coach Crom, maninigurado ng match point. Jonah, Heart, uh, Ming, Heart. Ayan, ito dito. Diba? Dito na. Pare si man ako, pare si man. Pare si man ako, pare si man. Pare si man ako, pare si man. Kalma lang daw, sabi ni Coach Cromwell Garcia. Yan lang kailangan nilang gawin. One point. That's all they need. Pero sabi nga nila, ito yung pinakamahirap kunin, yung panapos. Tama. Pero yun nga, nasabi natin kanina, he's been here. Yeah. Yung team niya, napunta na dito sa gantong sitwasyon. Alam na nila yung gagawin. Here we go. 
Cousin. Dolorito! Outside! Oh! Wow! Three straight for the Lady Red Spikers. At masakit yun para kay Coach Gomel kasi fresh out of the timeout yeah. yun eh. Yeah. Patuloy ang pagkapit ng San Beda. It is Molina serving it up again. Good serve. Oh. Scrambled from LPU. Here's the setup from San Beda. Castillo off speed. Oh. Wow, what an adjustment. Wow. From China Castillo. Lang itong big defense ng Lyceum Lady Pirates. Lahat nasa likod yeah. looking for that long ball, for that long angle. But then again, Castillo, very smart play going for that off speed attack. Oh, amazing. Four match points. Save yes, by four, San Beda. 4 0 run. Yeah. Oh! oh Service ace. ace! Wow! Make that five match point save by the Lady Red Spikers. Pat Molina rock solid at the service line. Composure, consistency is the key. Martin. Uh, yeah. 21 24. Molina. Better pick up from Lopez. Tararito. Oh, oh good, good by defense. Oh, Pio ends the match. Regalo. Para kay Hart Pio. What a match, Martin. LPU averting disaster and takes home their first win of the season. And this lady has been unstoppable. It was Dolorito with a powerful hit. I was dug up convincingly by Habakon. Pero sinigurado na ni Bio yung muling puntos nila. That was a nail biter, Marla. <laughs> Grabe yung last set. Eh. San Beda not letting go easily with five straight points. Pero LPU was able to come up with a winning point. The final, 25-17, 13-25, 25-15, 25-21. Longest set was set number four at 29 minutes. We saw great action. LPU, last year's second placers. Runner-up finishers taking home their first win of the season at the expense of San Beda. Let's go to their school hymn.
resolution of this match. The LPO Lady Pirates winning it in four sets. 25-17, 13-25, When we return, kausapin po natin ang head coach ng LPU coach Cromwell Garcia. Okay nga, let's go back. Ang NCAA Season 99 on GTV. Good job sa kanyang pagbabalik sa Olympic stage, si Pinay weightlifter Elvin Ando. Matapos po yan ang matagumpay niyang performance sa women's 59kg event ng 2024 IWF World Cup sa Phuket, Thailand. Nakabuhat siya ng total na 228kg at nakakuha pa ng ikapitong pwesto. Naungusa ng 25-year-old Pinay weightlifter ang kapwa-atleta at Tokyo Olympics gold medalista si Heidi Lynn Diaz sa parehong kategorya. Nakabuhat si Diaz ng total na 222 kilograms. Si Ando ang ikatlong Pinoy weightlifter na nag-qualify sa Paris Olympics. Sa kabuuan, siyam na ang pambato natin sa Olympics na magsisimula sa July. Good job at congratulations sa inyo dyan, Elrin! Good job ang isang Pinay weightlifter na nag-qualify sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Si Rosie Ramos na ang ikapitong pambato ng Pilipinas sa Paris. Nakuha niyang slot matapos manalo sa women's 49kg category sa Olympic Qualifying Tournament ng International Weightlifting Federation sa Phuket, Thailand. Tubong Sambuanga City ang 20-year-old weightlifter na pinsan ng Olympic gold medalist na si Heidi Lynn Diaz. Makakasama niyang lalaban para sa Pilipinas sa Paris Olympics sina E.J. Obiena, Carlos Yulo, Alea Finnegan, Yumir Marshall, Nesty Petesho at Ira Villegas. Bigong makapasok sa 2024 Paris Olympics si Tokyo Olympic gold medalist at Pinay weightlifter na si Heidelin Diaz. Hindi nakamit ni Diaz ang kailangan puntos sa 59kg weightlifting category sa qualification. Conclusion of this match, it is LPU with their first win of season 99, winning it in four sets versus the San Beda Lady Red Spikers. Kasama natin ngayon, as promised, the head coach of LPU. Na medyo na stress kanina. Okay, <laughs> di na medyo na stress talaga, Coach Cromwell. You're the first coach. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Coach, congrats. Okay. It's nice to see you again. Nakahinga, nakahinga ng maluwag. Nakahinga ng maluwag. This is um, despite the second set, kahit na medyo natalo kayo don. This is still a convincing win for you guys. Kasi mm -hmm. nakita natin, nakita natin yung experience ni tong LPU. Mukang marami kayong natutunan from your final appearance going into the season. Unahin muna natin. Your thoughts on your team's uh, performance here against a young team like San Beda? Actually, uh, blessing sa amin yung nangyari kasi parang uh, itong pagpasok ng NCAA natututo pa rin yung mga bata. Uh, with the, our new system na tinatakbo, parang test of character na rin eh. Kung paano na iraran yung offense, especially yung dalawang middle ko bago. Hmm. Oo nga, dalawa yung middle mo, si Pio who was very effective, at si Osada, Hiromi Osada. Pag-usapan natin yung, eto yung dalawang mong gitna, ito, si John, uh, si Dugu na yan. Pero pag-usapan natin yung nangyari sa si set number two muna, coach, bago ay ibigay kay Anjo. 25 to 13, parang hindi lang kami yung nagulat nun. Parang buong San Andres oh. nagulat dun sa nangyari. Especially with San Beto, having a young core, ano nangyari sa set two and how were you guys able to adjust going into set three? Actually, sabi ko nga sa kanila, yun yung makikin problema namin pag uh, nag-relax kami. Uh, kaya sabi ko, test of character, hindi po pwedeng basta bibitaw lang o basta mag-relax sa pag may game eh. Okay. Ito, Coach Cromwell, congrats po ulit. Bilang finalist last season, ano pong mga pinaghandaan nyo pa for this new season at ano yung mindset nyo? Actually, uh, pumasok kami itong season na to sabi ko, uh, underdog pa rin kami. Uh, kasi especially meron kami, meron kami mga bago, ito yung bago namin. And uh, we are approach it uh, parang underdog kasi kailangan namin mag-grind pa ulit ng sobra-sobra eh, para makaabot ulit doon sa gusto namin puntahan niya. Eh. So it's, is it safe to say na hindi confidence ang tawag? It's all about how you train every day, how hard you train every day, how much effort you put in every day. So 
masasabi natin na hindi confidence. Yes. Somehow, onti lang, pero more on your hard work. Yes. Uh, kasi sabi ko kasi sa mga bata, back to zero ulit kami. Hindi kami po pwedeng dalhin namin yung uh, achievement namin nung nakaraang season na uh, going to this season kasi ibabaw na ulit to. Iba na naman. Ito, Coach Cromel, last set, fourth set. Medyo tumikit, no? Itong San Beda Lady Red Spikers. Anong naramdaman mo nung nasa 20s na itong San Beda Lady, Lady Red Spikers kanina? Oh, Actually, napawisan si Coach pa rin. Oh, okay. <laughs> Actually, uh, oh. sa akin naman, hindi naman ako ganun ka-pressured kasi hmm. sabi ko nga sa mga bata, It's all about them. Hmm. Sila yung maglalaro nun, sila yung uh, papatay ng bola na yun. Yung full trust ko naman, nasa kanila lahat. Okay. Coach, pinagit mo na yung mga bago mong addition dito sa team na to. I wanna talk about Heart Pio. Tama ba? Uh, Heart Pio. Your new middle blocker. Ang laki ng uh, papalitan niya dito in Zone C Dahab. Sabi mo sa akin kanina, heart and soul nyo si Zone C Dahab. Siya yung ate ng team. Mahirap palitan. Pero mukhang yung performance kanina ni Pio. She was unstoppable. May Red nickname up. na siya actually. Ano? Oh, the oh, Queen of Tips. Oh, ninaim na. Oh. Queen of the Tips. Kasi yes. unstoppable yung mga tip niya dito. Your thoughts on her performance and was that the expectation coming from you uh, para sa kanya dito sa season na to? Actually, uh, ako, ako lang yung may alam. Ah, ikaw lang? Okay. Ako lang yung may alam. Uh, even uh, yung sa, sa kanya mismo, hindi niya alam na gagamitin ko siya ng ganun katagal at ganun ka-effective ah. yung gagawin niya. Okay. Kaya sabi ko sa kanya, magtiwala lang siya sa akin. Pero, Coach, since, siyempre, setter ka, si Puzon, setter, sinasabi mo ba si Puzon na bigyan mong kumpiyansa si Bio? Kasi ang dami ng bola. Pati si Osada, marami rin bola. Honestly, ang instruction ko lang kay, kay Mingming, trabahuhin niya, dapat yung trabahuhin, alam niya na yun. Okay, okay. <laughs> back to back best setter award yes. nga. Coach, chance mong badiin yung mga nanonood sa inyo ngayon. First win of the season for LPU. Ah, uh, maraming salamat po sa lahat ng sumusuporta sa amin. Ah, uh, special po sa aming presidente, Attorney Roberto T. Laurel. Maraming salamat po sa tiwalang binibigay niyo and to all uh, LPU community. Ah, uh, sana po wag kayong magsawa, napuntahan kami dito at suportahan. Thank you po. Coach Cromwell Garcia getting their first win of the season, head coach of the LPU Lady Pirates. Pinag-usapan na natin si Mingming Puzon. Kasama siya ngayon ng ating courtside reporter, na si Julia Ong. Julia, go ahead. Yes, thank you, Martin. Kasama ko ngayon ang team captain ng Lyceum Lady Pirates na si Venice Puzon. Hi, Venice. First of all, kamusta after this game? Okay naman. Nakahinga na kami ng malawa. Wow, same after thing ang answer ni Coach, ha? Venice, kanina, to be honest, first and second quarter, medyo napansin namin na parang hindi ito yung normal Venice na napap- napanood namin noong season 97 and 98. Ano yung naging mindset mo, yung tumatakbo sa isip mo nung pagpasok ng third and fourth set? Uh, naisip ko lang po na ginagawa ko naman to everyday. Tinitraining ko to everyday, so bakit parang kailangan ko pa i-doubt yung sarili ko sa mga gagawin ko. Ayun. Speaking yung naisip mo na gawin sa sarili mo, ano yung naging parang sinabi ni Coach Cromel sa inyo para bumangon yung buong team ng third set? Uh, sinasabi niya po sa amin na ikalma lang namin yung sarili namin kasi parang nag kami, parang gusto namin perfect lahat or ano. So parang yun yung naging mindset namin coming sa third at fourth set. Um, ikaw naman as a leader sa team nyo, ano yung sinabi mo naman sa teammates mo? Ano, mag-enjoy lang kasi mm-hmm. parang ano eh, parang hindi ganun Hindi, hindi kami ito eh. So, parang tinatry ko silang i-lift up. Itatry, tinatry ko silang lumabas dun sa comfort zone nila. Kitang-kita naman namin na after nung second set, sobrang bumangon talaga kayo para makuha yung panalo. So, Venice, ngayon, chance mo naman to para batiin yung mga supporters mo. Uh, hello po. Thank you po sa families ng teammates ko na nanonood ngayon sa L- sa dito sa arena. And thank you po sa LP- LPU community na sumusuporta po sa amin. Hindi po namin kayo bibiguin. Yan lang po. Thank you, Venice, and congratulations once Thank again. You. Martin and Anjo, balik muna sa inyo. Maraming salamat, Julia. Ano mo, malaki na yung progression ni Mingming Puso na sa mga interview natin yes. dati. Very fluid oh. si Mingming. <laughs> Ayan, iba na yung confidence niya. Oh. Congratulations, Mingming Puso. Maraming sinetap si Mingming Puso dito sa kasama natin ngayon. Top scorer ng uh, LPU and of the match, 17 points today mm-hmm. as expected naman to. Joanne Laguna, kamusta? Okay lang po. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you po. So, congrats, congrats, Thank you. Okay, uh, Joanne, this season, kompleto pa rin kayo. Nandiyan pa rin yung mga pieces ninyo. May mga nawala, may mga idinagdag. Ikaw, uh, ano yung mga dinagdag mo sa laro mo? Kasi alam na natin, you're one of the most efficient scorers. 
hirap kang pigilan ng mga blockers, ng mga kalaban. Pero ikaw, mayroon ka bang bagong dinagdag dun sa kumbaga, arsenal mo sa mga sa opensa? Siguro po, da, uh, dahil nga po ang dami din nawala last season. Mm -hmm. So, isa na din po ako sa senior. So, kailangan ko din po mag-step up para sa team. Yun lang siguro po yung inano ko din talaga na na kailangan kong tulungan yung team para sa team ko. Ang laki nga ng tinulong mo dito. Sige, bago ko ibigay, Anjo, pag-usapan natin yung set number two. Gusto kong i-emphasize yun kasi ang ganda ng recovery nyo. From 25-13, nakabalik kayo set number three. Parang, you know, back, back to your usual ways kayo ng set number three. As a team, ikaw nakakakita nung nangyayari sa court. What happened in set two to your team? How were you guys able to respond yung set number three? Nung second set po, siguro nag-relax kami. Tapos, nung third set na, yun po sabi ni Coach na wag kami mag-relax. Tsaka, wag namin hayaan na lang kung ano yung ipinapakita namin. Yun nga po sabi ni Coach Ram na ang sarap ipaglaban yung, yung pinaghirapan namin. Kaya, yun po. Okay. John, congratulations para sa panalo at sa pagiging best player of the game. Ito lang, ang, ang tanong ko, no? Do you feel any pressure right now? Okay. Wala. Hindi, ikokonnect ko yung tanong eh. Ikokonnect ko to eh. Ikokonnect mo. Sige. Pero ito, nasanay ka na ba na ikaw yung isa sa inaasahan sa loob ng team? Mas ano na pagdating ng crunch time? Opo. Pero at the same time po, nakabahan pa rin po ako kasi nga isa po ako sa inaasahan din ni Coach Trom. So kailangan ko din po mag-contribute para sa team ko. Kapag ba dumadating yung game day, inaasahan mo na na mostly ng blockers automatic nasa iyo na oh, nasa kapag papalo ka. Anong ginagawa mo? Anong ginagawa mong mindset? Papaluin ko po ito. Papatayin ko. <laughs> Kahit ano mangyari. Opo, ayun. Ganun ka kadeterminado. Oh, oh. At lalo ito, ah, sige, ah, pag-usapan natin kasi yung San Beda kanina, parang isa, ang isa sa mga magiging strength nila ngayong season 99, blocking nila. Mm -hmm. Kasi matatangkad. Matatangkad. Oh, mm. pa. Pero yun, wa effect sila sa iyo. <laughs> Pag ikaw na yung pinupuntahan, <laughs> Lumulusot lang, dumadaan lang, laging puntos. Ikaw, paano mo tinignan yung challenge kanina na malalaki yung mga blockers ng Senbeda? Pagka po, ano, isa lang yung blocker, tapos pwede kaya makita ko na lang po sa ere na pa papunta pa lang po yung isang blocker. Uh -huh. Sa gitna ko po yung pinapadaan. Ito mo, veteranong oh. veterano na. Ito to, John, sinong nagbibigay ng kumpiyansa sa'yo sa loob ng, sa loob ng court? Ano bang gusto mo sagot ba dito? Hindi, hindi. Sa loob lang ng court. Ah, okay. Siyempre, iba yung kumpiyansa na galing sa team. Ah, okay. Lahat naman. Akala ko may... Sino yung pinaka? May pinifish na sagot si... Wala ako. Ay, wala. Wala. Sure ka na? Okay, sure ka na. Okay, masasabi mo dun sa mga... sa performance ng team nyo, lalong-lalo na kay Hart, kasi bago siya. Mas ang ganda agad ng performance. Ikaw, nakita mo na ba ito sa ensayo, sa mga previous tournament sa sinalihan nyo na... May potensyal itong si Hart. Opo. Meron nga po. Kaso nga po noon sa training kami, medyo na alang-alang po si Coach niya kasi minsan off siya sa training. Pero buti naman, ngayong laro ay na ipakita niya din yung dapat niya ipakita. I-share mo sa kanya yung nickname na ginawa namin para sa kanya. Ano? Sige. Uh, queen of Tips daw. Queen Ayun ang nickname. Sabi ni Anjo. Okay. Kasi, kasi siya puro siya ganun. Ah, drop ball. Ganun. Ayun po yung sinabi sa kanya ni Gold Drop. Sabi sa kanya. Oh, kaya din, din, din niya nakakailangan paluin. Basta i-ano niya lang, i-drop ball niya lang. Pero super effective siya. Ba, alam mo, um, feeling ko sabi mo minsan off siya sa training. Baka gusto niya NCAA lang yun. Oo. Lalaroan niya talaga. Di may mga ganun players. Oh, oh, gusto oh. yung official game Baka ng na Excel. Baka na-pressure. Baka na-pressure. Na-pressure sa training. Na-pressure yeah. sa training. O, oh, ayan. Pero ang ganda ng performance yung ngayong araw na to. Congratulations. Pinakita nyo na, you know, experience na kayo. Kaya nyo nang tumapos ng mga laban. Uh, katulad ng game na to. Na natalo kayo ng set number two. Bumawi kayo sa dalawang sunod. Okay. Last na lang, Joanne. Tingin mo from last season, naabot nyo na ba yung peak? Peak o championship caliber mm. level na hinahanap nyo going into season Sigur, 99? Siguro po. Pero yun nga po, dapat huwag kaming tumigil. Mm. Kasi hindi pa natapos. Tsaka ano lang, step by step lang po sa mga, ano, sa mga kalaban namin. Okay, Joanne, dahil nanalo kayo, congratulations. Pagkakata mong batiin lahat ng nanonood sa inyo ngayon, nakasuporta sa team ng LPU. At sa'yo na rin. Sa'yo, so, inspiration mo, batiin mo. <laughs> Ayun. Na ayaw mong sagutin kanina. Thank you po <laughs> sa lahat ng mga sumusuporta po. Pati sa LPU community, sana uh, wag, uh, um, naway, supportahan niyo po kami palagi at sa Duguna Family Park. Thank you.
Ayan. Taga saan ang Duguna family? Bacolod. Bacolod. Hello po sa mga taga Bacolod. Oh. Ayan. Watching all the way from Bacolod mm. and support dito kay John Duguna. Maraming salamat. Thank 17 you. points today. Congratulations. Congrats, John. Thank you. 17 Thank you. points and the W para dito sa LPU Lady Pirates. More to come here in our coverage. Huwag kayo nga alis magbabalik ang NCAA Season 99. Another good news mga kapuso, pasok na rin po sa 2024 Paris Olympics ang Pinoy weightlifter na si Jan Febuar Siniza. Yan ay matapos siyang magwagi sa qualification tournament na 2024 IWF World Cup sa Thailand. Nakuha ni Siniza ang ikaapat na pwesto sa men's 61kg weightlifting category. Siya ay kawalong dagdag sa pambato ng Pilipinas para sa 2024 Paris Olympics. Una nang nag-qualify sa 49kg weightlifting category si Rosie G. Ramos. Mga kasama nila sa Paris Olympics sila EJ Obiena, Carlos Yulo, Alea Finegan, Yumir Marshall, Nesty Petesho at Ira Villegas. Good job sa kanyang pagbabalik sa Olympic stage si Pinay weightlifter Elvin Ando. Matapos po yan ang matagumpay niyang performance sa women's 59kg event ng 2024 IWF World Cup sa Phuket, Thailand. Nakabuhat siya ng total na 228kg at nakakuha pa ng ikapitong pwesto. Naungusa ng 25-year-old Pinay weightlifter ang kapwa-atleta at Tokyo Olympics gold medalist na si Heidi Lynn Diaz sa parehong kategorya. Nakabuhat si Diaz ng total na 222kg. Si Ando ang ikatlong Pinoy weightlifter na nag-qualify sa Paris Olympics. Sa kabuuan, siyam na ang pambato natin sa Olympics na magsisimula sa July. Good job at congratulations sa inyo dyan, Elrin! Good job, ang isang Pinay weightlift. Still here in our post-game coverage of this matchup between LPU and San Beda. Again, if you guys missed all of the action today, LPU winning it in four sets to take home their first win in season 99. Martin Avier alongside Anjo Bertiara here in the broadcast. And now we will check some of the final numbers that we have in this match. Nakikita natin dito, LPU winning a lot of departments, Anjo. Yes, pero notably, lumamang ang San Beda Lady Red Spikers pagdating sa blocking department. But then again, yeah. sobrang compensated pagdating naman sa attacking department nitong Lyceum Lady Pirates, 49 to 37. Pati na sa depensa, ano, lumamang din itong Lady Red Spikers from the net defense to floor defense. Okay yung pinakita nila, pero pagdating sa reception, dun sila ah. binawian nitong Lady Pirates with 14 aces against the 6 ng San Beda Lady Red Spikers. And pagdating naman sa unforced errors, marami pa rin binigay itong Lyceum Lady Pirates. But then again, compensated, very well compensated pagdating sa kanilang attacking department. Malaking dinagdag ng unforced errors dun mm -hmm. sa huli, nung uh, huling part ng set number 4 kung saan humabol, bumulusok itong San Beda. But, 14 aces today for LPU. Again, we, wow. we've been mentioning this. Mm -hmm. This is one of their strengths uh, here in the NCAA. And most of the aces came from Doguna and Puzon. Yeah. A combination mm -hmm. of those two. So congratulations to uh, the LPU Lady Pirates. An encouraging start to Season 99. At if you're a contender, Anjo, if you want to be a Final Four contender, if you want to be a champion here, kailangan ma-overcome mo yung mga challenges in-game adversity in game katulad nung nangyari sa set number 2 I like the way they responded and uh, won the last two sets of the match hindi tsaka yung adjustments hindi nila masyadong pinatagal gawin kinawa agad nila at the very right moment hindi yeah. nila hinayaan na natalo man sila pero yung momentum pilit nilang tinataas at binabalik nila sa side nila kaya naman napag-usapan natin kanina with experience marami kang mo overcome that's right at ngayon naman po, panoorin natin ang pinakaunang laban natin ngayong araw na to in the men's division between ito, masakit ang puso ni Anjo dito Ouch. the Mapua Cardinals and the San Sebastian Stags it went the distance an extension in this match went to five sets 
San Sebastian winning this one in five and via a reverse sweep. Oh, Angel, ang mga leading scorers natin dito. As expected, ano, hindi coincidence na dito tayo sa San Andres ngayon. Kasi first game ni Barbie San Andres, Pinakalan dapat dito talaga. Pinakalan sa kanya tong lugar na to. Oh, home court <laughs> ni Barbie, 29 points earlier for San Sebastian. As expected as well, Kyle Villamore with 24. Ito nga, makita natin no, sa stats. Reverse sweep, yun ang yari, Marty. Masakit sa'yo yan. Masakit sa puso ito. Dapat ikaw na nagsasabi na ito. <laughs> no, but Papua was in control. Yeah. First two sets, and then San Sebastian. This is a team, itong San Sebastian na to, who was ano ba, depleted pretty much the entire season. Nung season 98 po natin, kakaunti lang ang player. Pero lumalaban, ngayon parang mas kompleto sila at maraming tutulong dito kay Kyle Villamore. Pero nga, sobrang bigit ng laban base dito sa, bay, sa, sa ating stat sheets. Points 1 by the San Sebastian, 56. Sa Mapua, 59. Pag-ibig sa Black, 7 naman sa San Sebastian, 11 for Mapua. Sa service, 4-3. Pagdating sa opponent's error, 35 lang ang binigay. At 31 naman sa kabila. Sobrang dikit. Siguro nagkataon lang talaga na pinug ang bola yeah. at breaks of the game. That's right. That's Napunta right. para sa San Sebastian. Yung familiar swag ni RJ Ramos. Nakita natin kanina. Mm -hmm. Ito si Coach Clarence Esteban. Dito nagsimula. Yung uh, pagpulusok ng San Sebastian. Set number four action to force an extension. This was a close set. Ended at 25-21. Ultimately, it was San Sebastian who got the win, led by uh, Coach Del Moro. Ito, Barbie San Andres. Still at it. The elevation. And the flick of the wrist with some power as well from Barbie. Set number four. 25-21. We needed... Ay, set number three pala. Ito yung set number four natin. So, 25-23. San Sebastian barely got by. Pero set 4, sila pa rin nanalo. Yes, but carried the momentum all the way, Martin. Yeah. And if you're Mapua, this is a team that is hoping to contend. At least, you know, end up in the final for final last, four. Last season, yun yung goal nila eh. Yeah, but fell short. Fell short, yeah. Pero konti lang eh. Also yeah. na sila eh. Yeah, just a few games. And then, pero all throughout the season, they were in the final four picture. Yeah. So, yun ang gusto nyo ng kumpletuhin. Kaya masakit yung pagkatalo na to. At mas masakit, poised na sila to win. Uh -huh. Na reverse sweep pa. Reverse sweep. Fifth set though, was very exciting. As we take a look at the action here. Metal attack, quick attack for San Sebastian. A lot of players being activated by their setter in Jan Kurt Arano. Pero nag-ibang San Sebastian, ah. nagkaroon sila ng hype. Correct. Yeah, again, a clear advantage over the Mapua Cardinals. They were undermanned pretty much the entire season 98. Napaka, kumbaga, yung rotation ni Coach uh, Del Moro, hindi malalim last season. Mm -hmm. So this year, may mga piyesa siya dito. And, nagpakitang gilas naman. Okay, tignan natin ang panapos. And set number four ended at 25-21, going to the extension. All important, set number five. Yes. It all comes down to this set. Okay, I thought Mapua had the upper hand here because they have the most established scorers here. You got Jorge yes. Ramos, may Carlos De Mosa, and of course, may Barbie San Andres. And experience. They had five-setter games sila last season, Martin. Correct. They were already there. They were already there. Yeah. But San Sebastian showing us the resilience. Tignan natin to off the block. Mapua scored the point there. Let's check out some of the... Kasi mainit to kanina eh. Ay, oo. Diba? Ang taas pa naman ang heat index natin. Correct. Yun. Oo, pinainit pala lang yung araw natin dito. Anyway, umaga po ito nangyari. Mga kapuso, Coach Claren, or Clarence rather, forced to call for a timeout. Pero San Sebastian... Providing the finisher right here. San Andres couldn't do it, and it was put down by San Sebastian. That was Espinosa with a finishing touch. Or Espinida, rather. Espinida ending up as the second leading scorer of San Sebastian with 19 points. So three players in double figures for San Sebastian. Villamore, 24.
Espinita, 19. Lim with 14. On the other side, that Lorin Po. Oh, on the other side, we have Be Barbie. Ben San Andres with 29. We have Carlos Timosa, the lefty utility player, 14 points. And then we got Calvin Aljek Topasho with 13 points. Curious ako kung uh, nandito ba yung tarp ni Barbie kaninang umaga. Pero kasi umagang umaga yun eh. The infamous tarp na may clouds and may... May kalapate. Oh. Oh, <laughs> grabe yun. Pero... <laughs> Yun yung mga gimmick ng mga fans ni Barbie uh, last season. Of course, gaining popularity mm -hmm. via social media. Yung mga highlights natin yeah. dyan sa Facebook and YouTube. Marami talaga naaaliw at natutuwa sa style of play nila. Okay, but Mapua ending up with the loss. Well, they're hoping they'll, they'll be able to come back to uh, and avenge this loss in their next game. Limited chances. We've been That's mentioning right. this earlier. Kasi one round. single round robin lang. So, hindi ka na makakabawi. Kasi nung tumalo siya once, hindi na kayo magkaharap muli. Unless mag-final four kayo at pumunta ng championship. So, if you're Mapua, kung makaka-8 straight ka, mag-8 straight ka. But mm -hmm. easier said than done because you still have a lot of good teams. Yes, you are perpetual. Perpetual. You are perpetual. Everyone, Ariliano. actually. Everyone. Uh, lahat. Yeah. Pwede natin mention the whole nine opponents ng isang team. Okay, silipin natin yung tournament format natin. Again, Single round, Robin. So, still the same rules. Top four teams advance to the final four. Kung magkakaroon po tayo ng final four. If, if we don't, or if a team doesn't sweep the elimination round, usual final four tayo. Mm -hmm. One, four, two, three. Pero pag hindi, sweep, knockout, uh, step ladder, semis step po ladder. tayo. Katulad ng mga nangyayari in the previous years. Yes. Last year, so, number one, Benilde. Number two, Perpetual. Number three, LPU. Number four, Mapua. LPU, Mapua. LPU came out on top. LPU got the momentum going into that Perpetual matchup. Beat Perpetual to go to the finals, but was swept by Benilde. So, okay. this year, ano kayang makikita na? Oh, nga eh. Are there new faces up to the podium or new challengers? Ako, very wide open yung season natin ngayon, Anjo, yeah. no? Kasi, so, basta sa nakita natin. Yeah. Everyone's a friend. That's right. Even San Beda, who finished 1-8 and eight last season, it looks like they have a real team on the court, a team that could contend, that at least challenge the top teams here as we take a look at ooh, our game tomorrow, Wednesday, April 10. Ito na po, Letran Lady Knights, the debut of Coach Oliver Almadro as yes. the head coach of the Lady Knights, going up against a retooled and very formidable Arellano side. All right, Anjo, thank you so much. Thank you so much, brother. Thank you so much. On behalf of the entire team, my partner, Anjo Pertiera, our courtside reporter, um, Julia Ong, our panel director, Stephen Cruz, tour director, Pacasena, Roy Tulio, Ronald Gonzalez, Derekabit Ramos, game producers, Mark Morados, uh, Manny Caputina. This has been Martin Aviar saying thank you for tuning in in our game today. It was the LP Lady Pirates taking this one in four sets. We'll catch you again tomorrow for more action in the NCAA Season 99 Women's Volleyball Competition only on GTV. Good night, mga puso.